hours. Temperatures don't drop much, only the low 60s. As we go throughout the day on Tuesday, another chance for a few hit and miss showers and storms. Could be a severe one in there. We'll be watching that very closely on Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 70s, windy for us. And then we quiet down for Wednesday with high temperatures back in the low 80s. That's your Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Hey, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All righty. Everybody shut up. Ruskin and Zach's on, all right? <laughs> that, that, yeah, well, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, why not? I don't know. ESPN Arkansas at hitthatline.com. Here we are. Uh, happy to have you along with us. 866-285-4005 on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Um, your boy's dragging today. So uh, this is going to me. So this is going to be um, um, because a dog woke me up at 2.30 this morning. And I haven't been to sleep since. So I may, you know. This may be, I made John Sterling this. I just may get up and go, I don't want to do it anymore and just leave. I may do that. What, what was, which the, is now how I'm now, quitting, by the way. On a second. Is, is the dog yours? Yes. No. By marriage. It's related to me by marriage. Well, yes. you're not married. Yet. Well, you know, okay. So pending this, marriage. This is, this is an HP. This is not a YP. Okay. All right. Fine. The dog's I'm got a telling, problem. I'm just telling you the situation. I, I, the dog is better than any, like, like we need to get Darby involved here. This dog, God bless her, is um, better than any weather radio you could ever find. Yeah. If it is storming within 50 miles, <laughs> starts freaking out. Yep. Climbs on my head. All, all this stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, that's, uh, that's what happened. It, it, I, the, uh, the lightning and thunder woke me up last night as well. I had the, uh, the windows open last night. So. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it was great. Beautiful. Right up until that loud clap of thunder. And then, you, uh, well, that's what it was. And yeah, yeah. but I wanted, I, but I found this because I was just, you know, looking at anything to uh, pass the time and hopefully go back to sleep. Why don't you just drug yourself and go back to sleep? Well, because I didn't really have the drugs necessary to do that uh, readily available to me. <sighs> it was either being knocked out until like three today or nothing. Okay. And I went with nothing because I certainly don't want to do this show impaired. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> that seems like a, that's, that's the best way to do that it. That seems like a plan that uh, that should have been followed. But I want to bring DQ in here because in my uh, internet surfing in the middle of the night, I found the greatest sentence I have ever read about the city of Fayetteville. And I've been reading sentences about Fayetteville my entire life. And uh, I want to preface this by saying that uh, no one was injured and it doesn't look like this was a massive uh, um deal and we're not poking fun at it but i just have to read this sentence to you okay um, there was a uh, bit of a uh, fire on the roof of the uh, fayetteville public library the other day apparently all right and this is the most fayetteville sentence you will ever hear in your life and i would like to remind uh, uh john calipari we do have a lemon law in this state so if you hear this and you're like oh i don't know okay i think you're still within the window the source of the fire was, and this is in the Fayetteville Flyer, by the way. Ah, keep Fayetteville funky. That's right. The source of the fire was identified as an ember from a volunteer beekeeper smudge pot. Let's go to our Fayetteville correspondent, <laughs> DQ. What the hell does that mean? All of those words put together. What does that mean? Make a beautiful sentence. <laughs> One volunteer. What does so that the beekeepers mean? don't get paid? <laughs> no, no, these are volunteer beekeepers. We like to work with some animals that could kill you, and we're not going to pay you. Well, just don't be allergic. Thank you. What you is a killed. smudge pot? I looked it up. It's like 
<laughs> it seems to be one of those torches <laughs> that are at restaurants. Hmm. Like a tiki torch? It is kind okay. of like a tiki torch, but it is op- it's open. It's, it's like it's t- not there's not a cage it around it. It looked to me like tiki torch meets Bunsen burner. Okay. Yes. That's what it looks Good like to me. Now now I <laughs> will ask the like. question that everybody is asking. That's why they pay me three fifty an hour. DQ why is there a beekeeper <laughs> on the roof of the Fayetteville Library? Well, I was wondering that myself. Zach, without the bees, we ain't here. All right. I mean, without the bees, no, we're nothing. That, none of that answered my question. But, right. Why is there a beekeeper with a with fire on top of the Fayetteville Library? Well, you got to keep your smudge pot, uh, you know. I guess uh, you have to keep the bees warm. <laughs> it was I don't, like 70 degrees last night. Yeah. I'm wondering why that thing was on. Somebody, uh, I, a volunteer let, let me, forgot to turn it off, apparently. Let me, <laughs> let me just, let me, let me throw some ideas at you. Uh, he could have been. A, tending to the bees. Yes. B, smoking weed on the roof of the library because nobody'd look there. You may feel funky. What do you think, DQ? They Which, wouldn't look if you smoked weed in the library. You they don't care. Look at, walking down uh, Dixon Street. Do you they know the care. smells emanating from that parking garage yeah. over there? Oh, my <laughs> Lord. It's <That's> unbelievable. <laughs> Man, that's, that's, now, we love it. But, sure. I mean, we have, to be, uh, we have to be real here about this stuff, right? Huh. What a sentence. They are not I didn't going know to, there were bees on the I roof. would venture to bet there is not a volunteer beekeeper on the roof of any other public <laughs> library in the state of Arkansas. Certainly not in Springdale. I can assure no, you no. that. No, 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 no. no. We're, we're down here be, in Malvern at the fun. beekeeper. The, most people have bees on the ground, not... On, yeah, so they have... The Fayetteville Public Library has like a balcony section that is kind of a roof, but I guess they mean the main roof. Yeah. I don't. I would like to see. I want to see the bees now. Well, again, I I don't want to poke fun at this. Um, well, because no one was hurt without the bees, like none of us are here. All right, they're kind yeah. of important to the Fine. whole situation. Why are they on the roof of the Fayetteville Public Library? Great question. We're being told by someone known as Feet Pick Guy on the McClarty Daniel <laughs> Hotline. <laughs> <laughs> to keep this Fayetteville segment, not, the only thing missing is Dan Cootie calling in, and we, we would be all over this thing, and uh, and an appearance by uh, 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 by uh, by Jed Clampett. Uh, anyway, uh, Freed Pick guy, uh, there's a green roof, like there are planters. They have plants okay. on the roof, and the bees. Okay, you know, wait, why so are that there plants so, on the no, roof? So it's Fayetteville, are the man. bees on the part where people can go and sit? I don't know, but I don't. Are know Are the that bees part. with the people? What? I don't know that part. I mean, maybe one goes rogue and flies down where the people are. Yeah, because they have the planters with, because they have a bunch of outside seating on the roof of the library. Well, then, yeah, you could probably sit up there with the bees. With the bees yeah. and with the, the plants. Bees. Yeah. So they were smoking weed on the roof of the Fayetteville Public Library. We don't know what they're fire. growing up there. Yeah, you know exactly what they're doing. There were a bunch of people, a bunch of the weirdo hippie freaks that live down there sitting on top of the, uh, the Fayetteville Public Library. I mean, do uh, you no one your, was hurt. Make yourselves happy. Just don't the, lie to me. About the library it. was closed yesterday. I don't know what happened today. Well, they were all on the roof. <laughs> but um, um, they were trying. And, and we need bees because without yeah. them, we don't well, exist. Now, so. Did you read the entire article? Uh, I did. Did they find open IPA containers in <laughs> the <No. a> calzone? <laughs> that was uh, that was not included in the. Uh, that may be behind the paywall. Were there I any, wasn't willing to pay for any that part. Bags of Doritos up there. <laughs> no, I, there was not. No, I didn't do that. Was not in the uh, the, the piece. Thank you um, uh, to the Fayetteville Flyer. I like the Fayetteville Flyer. It's a good little uh, free Rag, thing. Yeah, I like it. Let's see what's going hey, on. Where else there. in the world are? We, I mean, the mainstream news isn't going to cover this. No, they are not. So the mainstream media. And they're all their bias. They're not going to cover stuff like this. Well, you need a local independent <laughs> press. That's what I've said. Uh, all right. Nobody else finds this weird. I it thought it me. Well, I thought it was the greatest sentence I've ever read about Fayetteville in my entire life. Like if someone said, ah. like if, if John Calipari last week is asking Hunter or John Tyson, hey, what's Fayetteville? I would read him this sentence. And he'd be like, okay, hey, got it. You, Mr. Pibb wants to know, was there a Subaru involved or a native <laughs> oh, yeah. or Fayette chill shirt involved? <laughs> I would be willing to bet a native or fetch. I, sure I bet there was a Subaru somewhere. in the parking lot. I have no doubt. There's definitely someone in sandals involved, too, probably. <laughs> yeah. uh, something. Was, yeah. there, was there an right. empty pan of brownies? <laughs> oh, we're, really, we're really going for the munchies theme here, I can tell. <laughs> oh, there's right. no way. There is. A, look, yeah, look, I didn't fall off the turnip truck yesterday. I have kids. 
and they lie when, to you. When did you fall off the turnip? It was truck. two weeks ago. <laughs> but you can sit here and tell me, oh, you know, we caught it on fire, tending to the bees, bull bleep. No, I'm not the, buying uh, that. I was, will not buy. What is that, that called? It I was the, the smudge pot. Yeah, yeah, a rogue ember. Can we? Uh, ah, Matt from Farmington points out nobody's actually saying there are bees up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's, that. That's fair. Good no, point, it's Matt. like that scene in Tommy Boy where they're drunk, and Tommy's like, "I have a plan." He's bees everywhere. Run for your life! <laughs> oh, I thought we were gonna go somewhere else. <laughs> my head. Over. Well, that's uh, yeah. it's got to be your bull. Right. Uh, if you were on the roof uh, partaking in whatever was going on with the smudge pot, uh, we'd like to talk or to you. Or if you're a volunteer beekeeper. Yeah, the, I'd love to hear from I a volunteer love beekeeper. Yeah. I love beekeeping. Is there an entire bee, volunteer beekeeping like brigade? I don't know, but one of, the them, one of them, one of them's getting asked. They have stores. Today. Do they get the like the suits and the smoke? Yeah. Oh, yeah. they, they have stores. There's a there's a beekeeping store really? in I on I-40 somewhere. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they have supplies. They got the whole deal. Yeah. Do you think we can get a smudge pot in here? Or is that not a lot? I feel like we're saying this and it means something else. I don't know. It has like a secret. A double entendre. Yeah. Okay. You're from Fayetteville. What does it mean? <laughs> you know the people. Yeah. You know the bees? Yeah. We need them. Texting enrolls you into reoccurring automated text messages. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Hey, Dan, how you doing? Haven't seen you around the gym for a while. Yeah, I've really fallen off. Since I turned 40, I just don't get the results I used to get. Could be lower testosterone. Lower T. Yeah, I went through it a while back. Once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. I got Nugenics Total T, and it's made a huge difference for me. I've seen that ad on TV. Is it for real? Oh, yeah. The key ingredient is something called Tesnor, which helps boost free and total testosterone levels to help you trim up and stay lean. And it's made a difference for you man i feel like i'm in my 20s again at work in the gym and in the bedroom are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try it for themselves yeah you just need to send them a text text bike to 321321 right now for your complimentary bottle of nugenics total tea the number one selling testosterone booster at gnc plus text now and we'll include a bottle of nugenics thermo our most powerful fat incinerator ever to help you get back into shape fast absolutely free text b-i-k-e to 321321 that's bike to 321321 it's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hug, Chuck. Do you own a business or are you starting a new business? Sign Studio is the answer to all of your brick and mortar advertising needs. Sign Studio can wrap your new company vehicle or an entire fleet of vehicles, manufacture and install stunning road and building signs, or simply print a banner and set of business cards to get you started. No matter where you are in business, Sign Studio is with you. With friendly service and smiling faces, Sign Studio is your source for complete visual marketing. Visit yoursignstudio.com or call 250-4844. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential. But finding those people can be a major hassle. Unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. And right now you can try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash free. With ZipRecruiter, one click sends your job to hundreds of top job sites. But more than that, ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies the candidates with the skills you need, sends you a list of great matches to review, then actively invites them to apply for your job. And the results speak for themselves. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. That's right, the first day. Now you can focus on your business and let ZipRecruiter do the work finding the best people for you. See for yourself. Experience the ease, efficiency, and power of ZipRecruiter for free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Country's hottest rising star, Riley Green. There was this girl. Ain't my last rodeo tour. Saturday, April 27th, Walmart M. With Tracy Lawrence and Ella Langley. On sale now at amptickets.com. Riley Green, live. 
It's time to vote for your favorite high school player of the week. ESPN Arkansas and Shamrock Roofing and Construction are recognizing the most outstanding high school student athletes. Visit hitthatline.com each week to vote for your favorite athlete of the week. The high school player of the week is brought to you by Shamrock Roofing and Construction. No one can install a better roof at a better price with a better warranty than Shamrock. Visit them at shamrockroofer.com. Visit the nominees each week at hitthatline.com. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. You know how they say April showers bring May flowers? Well, I'm about to bring you some awesome chalkboard specials for Fish City Grill. The beer battered cod tacos, what I just had in their house made beer batter, comes with slaw, pickled alpino, cilantro, and those delectable sweet potato fries. What about the miso glazed salmon, the sugar snap peas, the Asian cabbage slaw, the lemon basil rice, and the miso glazed sauce on top? Woo wee! Is that good? Come on by and see the Brundages today in Fish City Grill and Rogers, where they're serious about their seafood. Guild Mortgage. Guild Mortgage. Hey, this is Joey at Guild, located at 816 North Main Street here in Harrison. Many people ask me if it's a good time to buy, and the answer is yes. Even with the rising rates, it's a great time to buy. Here at Guild, we'll give you the honest and trustworthy advice on purchasing a home. So give us a call at 870-416-3755 or online at guildmortgage.com, and we will help you through the home loan process. Guild Mortgage Company, Equal Housing Opportunity, Company MLS 3274, Individual MLS 410-478, follow on social underwriting approval, terms and conditions apply subject change without notice. Lindsay and Associates are celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business and are the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. With over 200 professionally trained agents and three convenient locations in Fayetteville, Rogers, and Bentonville, Lindsay and Associates is a winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, blown fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Welcome to the entertaining portion of the broadcast day. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. The news is brought to you by the good chair because I had to have a place to sit. Get the good chair <laughs> only at the stadium shop. Stop by, tell Robert Joe Bonamassa sucks and you want a seat in the good chair because Pat Ball knew the place to sit. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get the car tape sponsorship, so ah. this is what I got. Hey, we got baseball tonight. Arkansas, will you make the final four? Yes. In them wacky uniforms with the pigs with horns. And did I hear you say you were playing a game today with the home crowd yelling, woo, pig suey. Hey, those pigs may be hogs, but they're kosher to me. Capisce? Second ranked Razorbacks host Texas Tech tonight in Fayetteville. Red Raiders are 26 and 11 on the year, 9 and 9 in Big 12 play. Arkansas is 30 and 5 overall, 12 and 3 in the league. First pitch scheduled for around 7 p.m. tonight. ESPN2 has the television. We're on the air at 6 30 with the dugout show. You can hear the game on selected ESPN Arkansas stations. Hit that line.com and the hit that line app. Transfer yeah. portal is open in both football and basketball. So please, please. Pray for your local compliance officer. Yesterday, John Calipari received his first commitment of the 24-25 season when seven foot two Kentucky transfer, and I'm gonna butcher this, Zavanamir Evisevich. How'd I do? I don't think that's right. I don't care. Uh football team has seen Isaiah August Augustav 
Boy, you are running <laughs> into really, him right now. Yeah, Holy Jacoby, moly. I got Jacoby Criswell. They entered well, you the got uh, that portal one. after the spring. Oh, jeez. Wow, that was rough. Uh, your Ruskin and Zach Expols brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. DQ, uh, do you get up in the middle of the night to investigate strange noises anymore? No, and I have never have. 42% of you said what will be, will be. 58% of you said yes, you still will do. Will be. I, uh, I I had something crash downstairs last night. Didn't even budge. No. Just sat there, was like, you know what? At Somebody's the, here, it's over. I don't care. At the farm, I would call my dad and inv- and have him investigate Is there anything the he house? doesn't do for nope, you? Okay. he's great. All right. Uh, DQ, is, <laughs> go- <laughs> is going back to your ex like reheating McDonald's fries? Ooh. That's yeah. a tough one. Eighty-seven point one percent of you said it's not even good yes. for a minute. Nope. Like, yeah. oh. I'm going to say that one for last. That's my favorite. Uh, did Dracula have it right? DQ sleep all day, live alone in a castle, and explode into a thousand bats in social situations. <laughs> yes. Eighty-five point one percent of you said Dracula was right. Uh, DQ, can we call baby cheetahs Cheetos? Yes. Seventy point six percent of you said yes. I love that question. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. They're brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809. All right, I'm ready to check. You say uh, uh, Big Z's name again, please. <sighs> uh, hang on a second. Where is it? Uh, it is... Now, I, I copied this from his profile. Okay. It is Zvonimir. Yeah. Okay. Zvonimir. Ivisic. Ivisic, yeah. Ivisic, okay. Yeah. I you hit I the added... Zvon and you hit the E. All right. Evisage. Evisage. Yeah. Okay. Yes. There we go. Zvonimir. What a. I, I may have a kid one day. I'll name him Zvonimir. I like that. I mean, if this guy goes for, you know, 20 and 15 every night, too, I mean, that may happen, too. I'm just saying. Um, all right. Is the last um, Croatian Razorback Davor Remot? I believe it is. It was Here? 30 years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah, maybe. I I'd have came to, to Fayetteville High. Yeah, I mean, but first he, one off the top of my head, yeah. But John George always yeah. announced him as from Zagreb, Croatia. He did. I'll never forget he it. Did. Davor Remots. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, it's been he a while. Shoot it too. Oh, man, he was fun. He was fun. Yeah. And it's funny how, or it's it was neat how, like, the predecessors, like, were just a little bit better. Like, you had, like, uh, like Remots. And then, like, uh, you know, Al Dillard and the Juco. And then Pat Bradley comes in and, like, sets a bunch of records. Mm. Three-point shooting in the league. Stuff like that. I don't know. These are the things I think about from time to time. Um, you know, with that in the game. So, I mean, that's what I'm uh, thinking about most of the time. Back to the bees. Nigel yeah. has texted. Yeah, Nigel. Beehives on top of the Notre Dame Cathedral when it caught on fire. Oh. Ben? Wow. What the? Well, uh, let's oh. see here. Apparently, DeVore uh, congratulated Big Z on social media. DQ, it's fri- uh, Friday is Taylor Swift night out at Bogle. Are you going? No. Okay. What are they going like, to... But it's I, her new album. What will you are be doing gonna... all day? Will you be Will you be of any use to us on Wait Friday? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Her album comes out on your birthday? Yes. Did so, she plan that? I don't know. You think she did? Maybe. Mm. I'd are like you to be, think she did. Are you going to be of any use to us on Friday? Well, so I have a plan. Oh, boy. Right. So I'm going to this concert on Thursday night. Yeah, you And usually Friday. Taylor Swift albums are released mm-hmm. in our time zone at 11 p.m. on Thursday. Mm-hmm. So whenever I get home, I'm going to put on my noise-canceling headphones and pull up my like song lyric mm-hmm. website, and then I'm going to listen to the whole album alone. Okay. So uh, this staff. So meeting, I can process. This is a staff meeting. You're not involved. Process. You're, you're, I have to process and absorb the album. Hold on. Staff <laughs> meeting. You're okay. not. In, you're not invited. Thank right. you. She's going to a concert Thursday night. Yeah. Then, she's going to listen to the Taylor Swift album, and it's her birthday. Yeah. She ain't coming there Friday, right? No, I don't okay. think yes, so. Yes, I am. No, right. you'll be in there. All right. Yeah, you. You're you'll not, be in there. You're not going to make it. Yeah. I'll be here. I'm waiting for you today's. Uh, I'm waiting like 24 hours from now. She'll start the setup. Uh, unless you're inviting I'm not, I'm not me. Unless good. you're inviting me to not come into work on Friday. No, if I, I have be to be here. here, you have to be here. That's right. I'll be here. Heck or high water. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> well, because I'm not going to drink at this concert because I want to listen to the album. Famous last words. Yeah, she's definitely not no. coming in. 
Yeah. She, she's well, already going, well, I'm not going to drink, but then she's going to get. No, I'm not going to. Okay. No, I'm not going to drink because well, I want to be clear. I have to have a clear mind for this, for this album. She really? does have better self-control than you do. Me? Yes, you. I have tremendous self-control. That is, that is not what that has not been my experience. <laughs> <laughs> that has not been my experience. <laughs> really? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Oh. Um. Uh, we have information on the uh, the bees. Yes, um, uh, yes, I'm reading um, this. I'm processing this. Yeah, from okay. uh, Ricky, Ricky on the McClarty Dinner right. Hotline. Uh, DQ, does this gel with what you know about Fayetteville? The bees are on the opposite side of the library from the sitting area. I think the sitting area is on the west side, and the bees are on the east. Yeah, uh, he is a beekeeper, yes. uh, but not involved in the Fayetteville, as he says, episode. He has no idea what a smudge pot is, but. I uh, did have a smudge pot on his bingo card and should probably apologize because he lives in Tawny Town. Uh, DQ, immediately not a fan of Yeah, she hates Tawny Town. And does not like the people. No. no. Which is too right. bad. Okay, so I think I have a clear idea on where the bees are. Okay. okay. All right. Do, do we need to go Crack to like Google code. Maps for this? Well, no, because it would just need to be a roof of the library. Right. And we should like also, a photo. You also run the risk of... um, Because they... Redid the they they expanded the mm. library. It might be an old picture on there because I don't know how often the Google Cam uh, scans are fair. To be fair. honest with you, you know, like uh, you know, I think the last time I was living in like three houses ago, when you could see my car in the driveway. I mean, uh, DQ, will you have a smudge pot with you while listening to the Taylor Swift <laughs> album on Friday? No okay. smudge pot. I believe in you, uh, staying. Mm. Uh, Sober. I will be. To, to oh, DQ. Not, not I will be. Were there this any... one? No, not a chance. I'm not going to the concert. Oh, I'm I know. But home. if you were, you would be. I am going to go home. I'm going to say my prayers. I'm going to eat my vitamins, drink my milk, and go to bed. Mm -hmm. Like I do every night. Right. We believe that. Uh, DQ, were there any bees involved with the birds over there? Well, that's how the whole thing got started, that's I suppose. <laughs> no, bees are real. <laughs> Bees are real. Bees are real. Because if they weren't, then yeah, this we wouldn't be here. This is the simulation. Yeah. The, the bees aren't. Have you ever seen the bee movie? I have. Yes. Isn't yeah. it great? Ah. And it teaches you all about why bees are important. You know, it's fine. It's fine. And now Seinfeld's Seinfeld did the bee movie. That's correct. Yes. And now he's doing and this um movie. and uh Cam Cameron uh, no um Matthew Broderick mm -hmm. right. Now he's doing this Pop Tart movie. Which I watched a uh, a deal on, and um, this could be a rough one. This could be a rough one. This Pop Tart movie. Uh, what? But Jerry Seinfeld is making a movie about Pop Tarts that comes is out on Netflix the, in a few uh, weeks. The success of the Pop Tarts Bowl back in December. Well, maybe. Okay. But uh, I think it was in the works before that. But uh, I think he's just rich and bored. That's why I okay. think he made this movie. Uh, DQ, it is honestly. minus 1,000 on Bet Sarah so that you'll be here. On I will be here. No, I mean, you'll be here, but not here. You'll, you'll will be... you wear big giant sunglasses? Yeah. No. Will you come in and go, I can't No. no. I I'll a, be fine. I had a friend of mine that um, did the graphics on the news when, when I worked in the, uh, at the TV station. And um, whenever we'd go out, and you, you never... The people doing the graphics on the nighttime news have to show up to work at two in the afternoon. That is correct. Right, remember that, okay? <laughs> she would show up in like pajama shorts, a tank top, and these giant like Brett Summer sunglasses. I believe that. I, I believe that. <laughs> Probably we all were, but that was her look. It was it was fantastic. Well, uh, DQ, <laughs> I look forward to you having a three day weekend, four day weekend. Oh, we'll Monday be, too. Yeah, no, she won't be here Monday. Right, you well. Gotta have a day to recover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Paul and Fort Smith willing to put two dollars down that you'll be here in body only. Fair. Well, it's Taylor Swift album day, mm -hmm. so I am. Uh, I'm here in body only most of the time. Well, yes, <laughs> we, we all are. I mean, we're all giving minimal effort, but well, you know, something like that. Uh good, great point by Abner. Uh, DQ, maybe you should do your thoughts on Friday so we you can review the album. Oh, that's, yeah, you know, that's a bonus smart, thoughts. And, you know, and that will entice her to show up. Yeah, that you'll want to sing from the mountaintops about uh, this, uh, the uh, the tortured poets department. Department. I just said you'll come in as Kim Carnes on Friday. <laughs> what a reference! Forty years ago, hey, Kim Carnes. There's how about nothing that? wrong with Betty Davis eyes. That's a good no, song. It slaps. It, it was great. It was great in the eighties. Yes, it was. No, it's great now. Oh, sure it is. You now, keep saying my that. boy here spent 
yesterday, good part of uh, the first hour yesterday, complaining about Thomas Jones or what's his name? Howard, Howard Jones. Jones, whatever his name was. And the Thomas Dolby. Tom, yes. And I, I like that song. Science. You like. Did you get that? Hang Abner? On. I will. Uh, I will. I will. We'll address that in a second. Abner. But Howard. Did. Jones. Yeah, he got that. OK. Howard. Science. Jones, Howard Jones. You spent railing against him yesterday. I know. What have you been singing all day? Ba, 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 ba. All day Yeah, I'm long. driving him nuts. Yep. But I usually drive him nuts, so this is not really any different than now, any other Tuesday. Thomas Dolby? She blinded, or That's she blinded right. me with science? It's poetry in motion. That's all I got. That song sucks. I like that song. I was there. And he went on to be like the Dolby guy. He's yep. like a trillionaire or something. Yes, he is. He is. Uh, his, his product better than his music yes that's right something yes it yes i, I love dolby 5.1 they do oh, that like thing. surround sound yeah that's oh, him Thomas dolby that's awesome you, 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 yeah, that's, that's, that's the my movies. favorite part of the movies <laughs> besides the trailers of course. <laughs> wait wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute all right i just wanted to end there so when the people go to <laughs> baseball they'll be very confused your favorite part of the movies is the little Dolby thing. At well, the my beginning. favorite part of the movies oh, is the trailers, but I love the surround sound part. <laughs> With the little and the it, ball, never the ball. it never changes. <laughs> yeah, I do like that. Would you go to watch that in sleep? <laughs> Depends on the movie. That's right. TQ, have you ever considered letting you know, like somebody analyze you like professionally? No. I would you be up for that? No, <laughs> not whoever you would bring in. <laughs> what do you mean? That's no. I'm like bringing somebody with like degrees. Oh, but I'd want I'd want them to know. But certain... Everyone likes that part, huh? Everyone likes that. I mean, part we can of all agree on that. That is good, right? I like to find the surround things... sound part. I think I like to find things we agree on. Are y'all old enough <laughs> to remember when they had the smellovision? When they would like pump scents into the theater. Well, you're going way back. Now. No, no, no. This has been well. I, I say back with 3D I say glasses. 35 years ago, like I and I think it's like 1965. It was like in the early 90s. I watched ju the original Jurassic Park in uh. the Smellovision, and they were pumping like scents in there, like when the dinosaurs would get what, like close. duty. No, no, no. What, no. what would a dinosaur smell like, like? It was like a musty smell or something, and people would be like, Ew. oh, and then all of a sudden the dinosaurs were coming. No, I hate I, that. Sounds awful. Okay. <laughs> I don't remember right. smell of vision. Oh, it was terrible. They used to try a thing in the 50s where um um the uh chairs would like shock people at a certain part of a movie where like something electrical was like the, the movie was called The Tingler. Yeah. Yeah. They they had the chairs all wired up. <laughs> what kind of movies? It's a Vincent watching? Price movie. The Tingler. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And everybody would be scared or whatever. Yeah, that was a whole the deal. Tingler? Yeah. Well, they were. This is when the movie theaters thought they were going to go out of business because of television. So they were trying to gimmick it up, you know, with the uh -huh. cinemascope and all this stuff. You know, you don't know. You weren't Did there. Did they show that at like Cummins or Varner? <laughs> the Tingler? <laughs> the Tingler. It's a horror movie. One of those bad horror movies from the 50s. Okay. Vincent Price. You know, Vincent they hook Price. you up to an electric chair, and they well, the chair had okay. a little. It had a little buzz. To Who it. wants to go to a movie and get shocked? Uh, you know, you know. If there's a bloody scene, they throw blood on the audience. You know, stuff like that. Immers immersive uh, experience. You know what I don't like? I've never. Now I will say this: I've never tried it. But I can't imagine uh, DQ Zach. I can't imagine eating like a full meal watching the movies. You know how they Me have either. these uh, these uh, like dinner and a movie things. Like I can't sit there and eat a steak that I can't really see, and uh, and watch a movie. I don't think I'd like that. Yeah, never there has tried to it, be but... there has to be at least a little lamp <laughs> on or yeah, something. Yeah. Joseph and Cove is refusing to Google the Tingler. Okay, I feel like somebody needs to. I'll do it. No, not no. Don't do it here. Nineteen fifty nine film, The Tingler. Did anyone Here's else? Here's the get trailer. That? Vincent Price and Pamela Lincoln. Uh huh. They made it for four hundred grand. How much did it make? Uh, n probably not that much. Yeah. All right. We need to. Um, I think it's about. It's been five years. We need to rewatch Skadoo. No, we don't. Yeah, we do. No, no. Yeah. Well, okay. We need uh, the people to watch on, on air meeting. Yeah. Um, I've got. Uh, 
Hope and Ashley coming in this. What are we going to make them watch? Uh, I don't know. Well, it's it's. I like the uh, the, the the Life Day, the Star Wars, Star Wars Christmas the, the, special. Pretty bad. You know what I make them do, right? I make them watch the movie and then write a summary. Yeah, they write a book report. Uh, yeah. And like, and, and a t- cruel boss. No, I'm not. No, the, it actually has. It serves a purpose. It serves the purpose that look. Sometimes you don't want to do or cover or understand what you're watching, but you got to give me something. That's not why you do it. Yeah, right. that's not why I do it. But <laughs> that's the and that's the reason that I've come up with over time. Is there anything that's worse that we can? I mean, I'm trying to think of things that are worse that have happened in the last five years. Yeah, because Cocaine Bear was good. Yeah, I like. I never, I never saw the Cocaine Bear. It was pretty good. I never saw that. You've never seen Cocaine Bear? No, no, I miss that. Oh my gosh, the jokes watching art house pictures. You know, you really need to watch Shrek first. Or Jeopardy. (laughs) Uh, Shrek, what's the, what's the line in that we keep talking about? The Muffin Man. The Muffin. (laughs) Not the Muffin Man. (laughs) That's my country button. (laughs) You're a monster. (laughs) I've seen that. I've, I've, I watched that yesterday. And you laugh. Oh, it's so stupid. It's funny. The thing is. That's not even the funniest. Oh, I know, I know. Okay, so true story. Yes. Shrek came out what year? 2000, 2002. 2001. I, I was in London three years later, and we're driving through West Kensington, and there was a bakery called The Muffin Man. Oh, no. I, I to swear to you, no less than 10 people on that bus went, The Muffin Man! <laughs> not what comes from our buttons! <laughs> Eat me! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, you got you got the watch- bad guy, John Lithgow. Yes. Okay, that's yeah, uh, Lord I thought Farquad. so. Lord Farquaad. Lord Yeah, that's right. Farquad. Yeah. Farquad, whatever. Yeah, Farquaad. Do you think he's overcompensating for something? <laughs> You've got to watch that movie. It is the adult humor in that is worth the price of admission. All right, I may, I may check it out one of these days. I'm telling you, when they when they start sniffing brimstone, he's like, I know what brimstone. When Ben Mankiewicz introduces it on TCM, I'll watch it. That's oh when I'll God. do. It. <laughs> it's a new classic. <laughs> They are running more modern movies on there, which is fine. <laughs> what? What? Do you remember when they do the dating game? Yeah. She's a shut in. <laughs> li- it's lives, so she good. She lives with seven guys, but she's not easy. You it's have- <laughs> Snow White. You have to see it. <laughs> That's a good joke. I like that. Okay. God, you've got to watch that movie. All right. It's a. Uh, 24 to the hour here on Ruskin and Zach. Our podcast every day is brought to you by United Roofing and Waterproof. Enjoy Viviano has uh, excelled on the residential side, but also offers the same great service commercially. So if you're a business owner in Arkansas and uh, you got a roof problem, call Joey. Consultations are always free. Schedule them online at unitedrw.com or call Joey at 479-312-7369. 312 It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The Lotto Jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try Lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling helpline. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Craft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. Regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, 999-1234 for QC Kinetics. You won't miss a moment of the action at On The Mark Sports Bar & Grill in Fayetteville, now under new ownership. Cold drinks and hot food specialties, sure to score points with your entire crew. 
Come watch all the games at On The Mark, 6,000 square feet of sports entertainment with over 40 flat screen TVs and the best smoked wings. Only at On The Mark Sports Bar and Grill, 2588 North Gregg Avenue in Fayetteville. Now under new ownership. On The Mark, all the games, all the time. Your Mach 1 Market Moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there there's still some pessimism. Oh, there, for sure. Some, some concern. I mean, even I, here in Northwest I Park. just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like, Things, everything's so expensive. Yeah. Just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks. And that's a very real thing that getting the basics it, and trying to get by day to day. And it's costing a lot of money these days to do that. And Visit Mach1FG.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered. For full disclosures, visit Mach-1Financial.com forward slash disclosures. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group has immediate openings in the Northwest Arkansas area. If you're a licensed CDL driver, heavy equipment operator, electrician, diesel mechanic, have painting or concrete labor experience, or experience in a quarry, apply today at jobs.crh.com. APAC offers top pay, a sign-on bonus, benefits including insurance, retirement, and profit sharing. Apply online today at jobs.crh.com. APAC Arcola and Standard Materials Group is an equal opportunity employee. Jersey Mike's, locally owned and operated in Rogers, Bentonville, Fayetteville, and Springdale, believes in the value of ingredients, premium meats, the freshest vegetables, and delectable bread baked throughout the day. And then there's the juice that elevates your sandwich to the highest level. You'll taste the difference in every bite. Jersey Mike's subs are perfect for catering the office or your next tailgate party. Their cookie and brownie trays are the perfect finale to any type of gathering. Fresh baked daily, right there in the store. Jersey Mike's, the best submarine sandwich on the planet always. Hello, well, folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast out there this evening and overnight. We'll watch for a few spotty to scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. It could be a strong one in there. We'll keep an eye on it for you through the morning hours. Temperatures don't drop much, only the low 60s. As we go throughout the day on Tuesday, another chance for a few hit and miss showers and storms. Could be a severe one in there. We'll be watching that very closely on Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 70s, windy for us. And then we quiet down for Wednesday with high temperatures back in the low 80s. That's Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Giving you the entertainment you deserve. Here's Ruskin and Zach. We are here. The baseball tonight. Carl Ravitch is in town. I'm trying to stay awake. Well, that's just that's on you. No, I don't want to pull a Francesa and fall asleep at the mic. You know what I mean? I don't want to do that. <laughs> They're calling you Don Snorleone. <laughs> no. <laughs> Remember when Francesa did that? Yeah. He was talking to uh, you know uh, somebody, Joe Girardi or somebody. I've just, fallen asleep in here. That's it's not that yeah, funny. but not on the air. Yeah. No, no, no. no. Yeah. I know you fall asleep in here. I've seen you fall asleep. I have fall asleep we here. get a little blanket and cover you up and yeah. turn the lights off. Right. It's like nap time in kinder. You got a kinder mat, <laughs> like a you know the blue. Right. DQ. Hey, did they have those uh, uh red, white, and blue mats in kindergarten? Yeah. Yeah. Those things are awesome. Man, you kids today are soft. We didn't have that. What'd you roll? Slept you on the floor. A cot slept on the <laughs> well, floor. Well, to be fair, the kinder mat isn't a whole lot of. We padding. were on the floor. It's all you need when you're yeah. a kid and you weigh, you know, like 40 pounds or whatever kids weigh. I don't know. It's all we needed. And we, we loved on it. on the floor. We had this one guy. Um, of course, he was, everybody in the class had their kinder mat. They're all the same. One guy had an orange, like, roll-up mat. And, of course, he's the guy that every time the teacher would leave the room during that time, he'd get up and, like, run around the room. 
and do stuff. And sometimes they'd catch him and he'd get in trouble. Nobody got any napping done. He was just, it was just, a, sounds like a, uh, sounds like a great one. Yeah, I was probably kidding. running a Fortune 500 company right now. Uh, I don't know what he's doing now. He's probably successful though. Probably. It's what happens. You know, all the geniuses are, uh, you know, this, the wild kids in school. And then all the boring kids in school live up to be, uh, you know, boring people pushing paper around. Mm building pivot tables, stuff like that. The people we entertain okay. on a daily basis. You know yeah, I mean? okay. All right. Yeah. You said we entertain the boring people. Yes. Uh, yeah. Please send your, card, nice. <laughs> send your cards and letters right. to Derek Ruskin, please. Well, they're not boring. They're just, uh, I don't know. I'm about to fall asleep at the mic again. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Red mm-hmm. wants to know if I laid on a mat today. Could I get back up? Doubtful. <laughs> not without not without help. Probably not. Yeah. I don't. Have we done anything in the last 45 minutes? Not a thing. If we accomplished nothing, not we know what a smudge pot is. Well, kind of. We sort of like a Bunsen burner for bees or usage of uh, other substances. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You could probably light something with that. Oh yeah, probably. Oh man, is anything going on around here? Yeah, well, we, we base- talked about that. We got earlier. baseball tonight. You know, I'm. Uh, that, that'll be fun. Rocking. Is it? Yeah, is sure. anything happening exciting there? No, not really. It, it's very quiet here. It's funny because I'm I'm watching this. Um, this uh, portal tracker deal and you can tell when the compliance officer at, at said school puts in the guys that are in the, the transfer portal because usc there were like four or five of them just jumped into the portal all of a sudden so clearly he, they they've all watched the video and uh and now they're uh they're free to uh to pursue their little heart's desire you know what's uh you know what's interesting is um uh this uh calipari uh situation he is, uh, and, and by the way, uh, un, we should again point out that unlike all of these other charlatans out there, we were criticizing Musselman when he, when he worked here, not after he left like a coward. Um, but Cal is just so much more secure uh, in his uh, in in what he's got to sell to uh, to people. Uh, Musselman, it was spray and pray. I mean, he'd get on basketball tender and just run out of likes for the day. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he'd do that well, all the Calipari's time. Calipari's got a very clear vision of what he wants. Yes. And he's it, very secure in what he is. He's also got the the idea that the he's got the track record. Look, if you want to go to the league, this is how, how I can help you get there. And no one's done it more frequently Correct. than me yes. in the last... You know, and, 15 and years. he said it in the uh, in the Q and A after uh, after his press his opening press conference. It was it's about get it's not about the first deal. It's about getting to the second deal. Right. He's got a bunch of dudes that have done a lot that. of money, a lot, lot of money, money made yeah. by guys uh, that that played for uh, John Calipari. So, yeah. Yeah. You know he's got uh, he's got the, the the he's got the plan the vision. Now you just got to go execute it. Now, I know f- I I know like we're so conditioned here to. Well, Arkansas contacted this person or that person. They're all, and he just doesn't. He's not no. very public about the way he goes about this. I like it. I like it. I, I like that he is. Um, he's. He's. Um, he's also shopping at a different store. I mean, he's shopping at uh, you know Williams Sonoma, not uh, you know not the Dollar Tree. I mean, he's he's looking. He's you know the best of the best for who he's going to talk to. He's not going to spend a lot of time. Uh, trying to recruit, you know, um, it's basketball, but you know, FCS uh, type of uh, type of talent around here, unless it's you know to fill out the remaining spots right. in, on a roster. And you, he's also got 855 wins. It's hard to argue with him. The strategy it's hard to argue with his plan. It is the strategy is clearly get as many talented people as you can and get them to the league, and maybe at Arkansas we'll run into a title of some sort. Maybe we will. The the number one approach is he never said anything about no championships. No, he didn't. I think he maybe mentioned it once, um, but it's all about collecting the best talent. And then now that doesn't guarantee you anything because no. you know he had a talented team that went and lost to Robert Morris in a school cafeteria. He's always year. got a talented team, right? Um, but it no, doesn't he guarantee had a talented team this year. But it's the same. What's interesting that people can't see right now because they're in the uh, you know they're in the Gaga phase. They're still in the. Um, you know the, uh, the the early stages of the relationship where you don't see any uh, any of the uh, peccadillos or flaws or whatever. Uh, peck, that's the wrong word. Flaws are, are the word. Um, what they don't see is that like it's the same question with Musselman with Cal. How are they going to merge and play basketball mm-hmm. together? That's the same thing, and you don't know until they do it. You know, ten fifteen times. 
And then you get a better idea in, in games of, of how it all, all works together. But it's the same question. These are 15, these are 13 strangers. It's like the real world. And you got to figure out if they can, uh, you know, I, I they'll get, can, I can work together. Did, I think he has a, an idea of who's going to do what when they come in, where the previous regime, it was just, let's bring in this group of talent and then we'll sort it out. Yes. Uh, which pissed some guys off, to be real honest. Uh, you know, the guys that, that got squeezed out of the rotation. Um, you know, kind of got pissed off about some, some of that stuff. With Calipari, there seems to be a clear direction, a clear, this is what I want my roster to look like. Yeah. Now go get it. Big guys, apparently. He likes big, big guys. guys. Yep. Big guys. Yep, we're going to that. And now the big guys can shoot and do things that you're like, how is that? Like, how? How are you doing that? It's incredible. The talent is just, mm -hmm. it's, 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 you don't, you don't, Things are done by some of these guys that you're just like, like, okay, at some point, there's a law of physics that should prevent some of this, right? Like, it just doesn't make any sense at all. But, I mean, we see it, and it it works. It happens every all year, across. Every year, there's a Kentucky guy in the lottery or two or three in, in the lottery, and they're making and, and getting to that second contract. Again, he, well, can, and he, he has... He has every right to sit and point and go, I help those guys do that. And, you know, the Calipari rant is interesting now because the thing I railed against is now the greatest <laughs> piece of PR that Arkansas can get. Because on draft night, who's going to be front and center on ESPN all oh, day? Will be. John Calipari. Yeah. That's right. He's going to be on, you know, all the shows. And he's going to have that little hog on there somewhere on his jacket or something. And uh, well, what's that work to you? That's going to be pretty good. Did you watch any of the WNBA draft last night? I did not okay. get to see any of that, no. That is the Chick-fil-A administration of a draft. They keep it moving, huh? Boom, 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 boom. Just pick in, interview, next pick. They moved that thing along. It was beautiful. I don't think it's a coincidence mm. that the greatest organizations in terms of just flow and how they operate are from Georgia. When you talk about Augusta National and the Masters, there, you will never go to a sporting event as smoothly run as that in your mm -hmm. entire life. And then Chick Fil A is based in yeah, Atlanta yeah. too. Go figure. Like Georgia's figured out how to like move people around and keep the keep the thing moving. You know, like uh, like in um, Four Christmases. Let's keep this thing moving. My buzz is wearing off. You know that kind of thing. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it looked like a, it looked like a great show. Uh, you know the. Um, a lot of the uh, media may not uh, cover this because there's not really an Arkansas tie, but I think it's pretty freaking exciting that someone from Springdale, Arkansas, yeah, yeah. went number eleven, yeah, number eleven, number to eleven, Liberty. Yeah, it was, it's pretty cool to I, play in the Garden. Yeah, Hello, play, playing in the Garden. She's gonna play with Ionescu and uh, and Brianna Stewart and and I. You know, Mark but according Quigley, to you, the Garden's a dump. It so. is a dump. Well, nah, it, that whole part of Manhattan's terrible. But no, it, it was it was cool. I've never been a part of something like that. I did most of her games in high school. Um, I know her a little bit. I know her coach, her, uh, Heather was up there. Heather Hunsucker, the, the head coach at Springdale was texting me as we were going along, sent me a text. Hey, uh, Queen just got a phone call. Where were they at last night? They, the, uh, in... the way they had it set up was couldn't the, tell what building they were. They, in. They, it was in, um, oh shoot. Um, I can't remember the name of the building. It's a, it's a, like a fine arts building and it was a smaller room, but it was packed. And, uh, and I was just, you know, first time I've ever watched the WNBA drafts. It was, it was in the it was, Brooklyn Academy yeah. of Music. Apparently. Yeah, it was in a, a performing arts uh, hall. Yeah. And uh, and it was quick, man. The, they administered that thing very, very well. It was the only thing they need to do. And Holly Rowe is one of the best at what she does. But when she is standing next to six foot four Cameron Brink, you have got to get her a step stool. Oh, you need the Tracy Wolfson step yes, ladder? because... Yeah. There was a point where she is talking to Cameron Brink, and all you can see is the top of Holly Rose's head. <laughs> Holly Rose got to be like 5'1", right? Or something oh, like that, 5'2"? If, if, if. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, no, it's cool. And, and you know, to see Marquisha go 11th was uh, was really, really cool. And, and I was with a bunch of uh, folks last night from Springdale High School. But never, again, never been a part of that. Anything like that, where one of our kids is getting drafted. Um, so that, that was really, really cool to see and, and see how much she, uh, she's grown. She's funny. She, like when, when she started, she was just a skinny little kid, and, you know, this 14 year old girl playing against, you know, Cabot down in the state, uh, state title or state finals. And, uh, and coach Hunsucker told me this girl's going to go, she can go. And to look at her now, I mean, she's physically built for the, for the WNBA. I get the sense, maybe I'm wrong, 
But I get the sense the uh, older guard of the WNBA is like extremely jealous of the popularity of these new players. You know, we saw it in that uh, yeah. in that Tarazi yeah. Sue Bird. Deal. It, 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 it's what's funny is like, like they're bringing more eyeballs to your product. How it, is that bad? Ask me right uh, today. If I said to you, what is more interesting to you, the Indiana Fever or the NBA playoffs? The WNBA is far more interesting. Well, I'd go playoffs. Uh, I'd, look, how many people do you think are going to watch Caitlin Clark's and, and, and WNBA? We could have Steph Curry play in three, four games in Oklahoma City in a week. That could be pretty It good. wouldn't even be close to opening night for the, for the Fever. But the Fever suck. <laughs> and well, and she's going to have to be good. Yeah. But the storylines of the WNBA, quite honestly, are if they're not better, they rival that in the NBA. Yeah. All right. It's uh, Ruskin and Zach here, 866-285-4005. No, there won't be an NBA playoff game. That has a larger audience than the no. women's final of the uh, uh, with Iowa no. and uh, South Carolina. No. 19 million. No. No, not and, and Cardozo from South Carolina and Angel Reese, teammates now. They hate each other. Oh, that'll be great. Oh, I love it. That'll be great. Okay, stand by. <laughs> It's Tuesday, April 16th. I'm Phil Reed. This is your 4029 News Update. Authorities are looking for a suspect from Sequoia County who ran from law enforcement twice. Ethan Branham faces several charges. An audit of a $19,000 lectern purchase for the Arkansas governor is released. Details on the audit is on our website, 4029tv.com. Former Springdale Bulldog Markeisha Davis selected by the New York Liberty in the WNBA draft. The Arkansas Game and Fish officials warning Arkansans to be on the lookout for invasive snails. From the River Valley to Northwest Arkansas and everywhere in between, make 4029 your home for the best live, local, and late-breaking news. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M. B I R D. Get ready for adventure with unbeatable deals at Wheels RV. Now through the end of February, we're rolling out the red carpet for you with our exclusive employee pricing event on select in stock trailers. That's right. You pay what we pay. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing Wills RV. Employee pricing on select models. RV show pricing on all new and used inventory. Hurry in. This offer is for a limited time only. Visit Wills RV today for details and to start planning your next great adventure. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV. At Shelter Insurance, we believe insurance should adjust to fit your needs. That's why we work with you to design an auto, home, and life insurance plan that's particular to you. Insurance that fits just right. And Shelter is known for our award-winning customer service, satisfied customers, and a plan for you. Shelter Insurance. We're your shield. We're your shelter. Call JT Finley at 479-521-4220. Or come by and see him in the heart of Fayetteville on College Avenue. Swift's Jewelry specializes in bridal sets, custom jewelry, and repairs. All work is done on-site by their professional, courteous team. Swift's Jewelry can engrave anything, including watches, knives, flasks, wedding bands, and more. And for the hog fan of your life, they have officially licensed Razorback Jewelry. Get her something she'll love wearing to the big game. Swift's makes your purchase easy with 0% financing for 18 months. That's low payments with no interest for a year and a half. Swift's Jewelry on the square in Fayetteville next to Hugo's. Your personal jeweler since 19. When you're looking for your next side-by-side -side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. 
Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. At Wrath Mitsubishi, we know nobody likes feeling like they've got to fight to get a fair deal on a pre-owned car. That's why we're introducing our all-new road-ready certified pre-owned vehicles. We pick the best used cars, bought locally from your friends and neighbors whenever possible. Then they get a full inspection, service, and reconditioning. And finally, we back that with a comprehensive warranty. Don't get beat up on your pre-owned car search. Hang on. Sorry about that. Road-ready certified pre-owned cars. We've got you covered. Exclusively at Wrath Mitsubishi. Don Tyson and 71B Springdale. WrathMitsubishi.com. Testosterone levels naturally drop in men with age, often causing a lack of energy, anxiety, weight gain, diminished libido, and performance issues. Don't suffer in silence. Call Maverick Male Medical in Fayetteville today for more about testosterone or weight loss therapy. They focus on your excellent care, optimal health, and performance. Call Maverick Male Medical today at 305-8206. That's 305-8206. Or go to Maverick Male Medical. Com. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. <laughs> ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away way Ruskin and Zach but if they hate him why do they listen most common answer I want to see what he'll say next this is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com coming up at this hour well, you want competition we got competition uh, results of the uh, National Beard and Mustache Championship oh, okay. are in. All right. We will uh, tell you about that well, at some point. Thank you. Here. Would you like to be an honorary judge at the <laughs> Beard and Mustache competition? No, thank you. Mm. Uh, we've also got uh, uh, baseball uh, tonight mm-hmm. with Arkansas and uh, Texas Tech. The Red Raiders are in town. They are going to start a lefty. Uh, you know, Arkansas, you know, there are some years Arkansas has been terrible against the left-handers. They're not bad this year. They're, you know, they're not a big drop-off lefty and righty. So, um, the scoring the runs has been the thing. This, is, this, this is has a, been the thing. This is a get-right game. Uh, you just got to get a win. You got to end the losing streak. You don't want two to become three. Um, because that that's the kind of stuff that can snowball on you if you if you let it. Where, you know, cre- I mean, who's pitching tonight? Did, is ben Bybee, Bybee will right. start for no Arkansas. No relation to Darby. As far as we know, although well, no, I want to go on this finding your roots show and find he, out if they're really are related. out to him. I know. Or, yeah. or maybe it was his uncle or something. I don't know. There was some connection. Family. Yeah, family yeah. Some family member. They are not. They, they are not relation. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Limited Forrest Gump impression. That was top notch, actually. I, I enjoyed that. They they simply have to get a win. I don't care if it's a win by one, win by 100. Just get the win. and Get you know, get that uh, that taste from the weekend out of your mouth. Yeah. Does it look? It doesn't get any easier. I mean, you're you're playing league opponents almost exclusively the rest of the way. So it's it's hard to um um it's hard to think about things um because it's so compressed. You know, if you're a baseball fan, you're used to 162 six months. All right. Well, this is you know 56 games. It's a it's a it's a little bit more of a sprint. It's like that uh it's like that COVID year yep. uh yep. In, in Major League Baseball. So this is like August. Like these are kind of the dog days now. Where you know you've you've played thirty five games, you've got you know twenty more to go in the regular season. Midweek teams mean nothing. It's not yeah. why you're here. Yeah. These are simply games to to kind of get you some at bats through the week and get some pitchers some uh, some experience. These games mean nothing. Now, yeah. I mean, you bring in it's, a it's name. The old, it's the old Mark Schlereth thing. Um, 
Although they do count. Um, they matter though. Yeah, you know, because you can get you know, confidence is funny. That sport is so mental. It's just it's it's unlike I've I've been fa- I, I've been doing this uh, you know, fifteen years or whatever, and to watch people still kind of not the masses I'm talking about. They have a very loyal corner of the room that loves baseball and they get it and they understand, you know, moving a runner over and all that stuff. But most people don't know the nuances of the game. They don't know that, you know, usually on 0 and 2, you're trying to waste one to get it to 1 and 2. You're not, you know, you're not trying to strike everybody out, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um but what's interesting is, you know, how unlike any of the other sports that we pay attention to in this state it's just the it's so mental it's so much about confidence and energy and keeping it upbeat all the time and and upbeat but also you know steady you know what i mean six games is a grind and you know in these midweek games are just i mean you're gonna play two against texas tech you got one today one tomorrow then you got a day off then you're going to south carolina yeah uh they're ranked 20th in the country they're good Uh, that that's but you have not played you're three and three in true road games, you have three of your last five SEC series on the road. Yeah. And one of them is in Kentucky, who appears to be pretty good. And then AM is another one, and they're right on your heels right now in, the, in the conference. No, no, I mean, that's the number one team in the country, right? Right. Now. But in the division race, yeah. they're a game back and, uh, and playing well right now. Um, and it's also April. Like it feels like every April, there's a bit of a swoon. And, uh, you know, they, they usually figure their way out of it. And, and by May, it's uh, starting to, but they have quite like, they have um, you know, like a Peyton Holtz, a left fielder, but it sounds like that's for now, not for, for now, always. Yeah. You know, he can, he can, you know, he, you know, if he's, you know, still hitting home runs and, you know, you know, rocketed at the plate, I mean, you have to make it where they can't take you out of the lineup. The thing that bothered me about the weekend uh, in, and and I watched all of Saturday. I watched a good portion of Sunday. The thing that bothers me about, about Saturday and Sunday in particular was your pitching. Pitching's like defense in football. It, it travels. And the pitching was good, but boy, I mean, the way that, and it, clutch hitting has been a struggle. You know, they, they've got into that, uh, you know, got into that ha- early on, uh, you know, it was get a guy in first. They were moving them along. They were getting runs across. They were pushing runs across using small ball. Then they got guys like Kerstad, and then they were just trying to mash the thing to Daytona. And, but I think they're in between right now. I'm not sure they, they, they don't hit the, their clutch factor is very, very low right now. They don't score a lot of runs. No, they don't. And they've got, they've but got they don't s- give up a lot of runs. That's the other thing. Yeah. Is, you know, as long as the pitching stays pretty good, I, I wouldn't worry too much because the offense will come back around. But what does concern me is if you get into the postseason and start facing really good pitching, you know, but, you're going to be white knuckling some of these games. So, you know, the, you say the offense will come around, but we have 35 games and they're still like in the, lower half of the league in scoring runs. I'm, look, they're never going to be a great offensive team, but they'll score enough win. What happened getting shut out at Alabama is is an anomaly. First shutout in the league game in five right. years. The, the offense will come back around and get you runs. As long as your pitching stays good, you're going to be in every game you you, you play. Right. Yeah. What, what concerns me is if you run up against a team like Kentucky and you catch them at the wrong time where they're hot and you're, you know, you're still trying to figure this thing out, you could wind up losing two out of three, and it really kind of shatters your confidence a little bit. That's what happened this weekend. Is um, they to in the first four league series, they caught teams at the right time. Missouri's bad. Auburn was struggling. LSU's a mess. Ole Miss. Is a, they caught Alabama as they hit as they started to to yeah. to yeah. elevate. And now, um, you know, that's that's the thing. Like they they. This does not take away from winning the first four series, but it, you have to acknowledge the full picture, which is they caught teams at a good time. Uh, and now, you know, what happens moving forward? Is South Carolina due for a... But, you know, if your pitcher goes out there and gives you six and, you know, nobody scores for the other team, then you're not going to catch them on a good day. So it's all it's all kind of predicated on that. And, you know, the bullpen uh, doing their job and how many times can you roll McIntyre out there to save the day? Uh, and, and stuff like that. He's phenomenal too. Um, but you know, what are you gonna do? And, and then the pressure mounts, and it's just it's it's uh, well, yeah, it's a, it's a when it's you a get crucible. In, when you get into the postseason, they you know the year that that they had cops. I mean that you knew that was going to derail at some point. He couldn't carry the thing the whole way. Staff's healthy. Hagen Smith is all but unhittable. You've got 
a, I, I would say a 75 to 90 percent chance to win every time he trots out there. You know, yeah, your really, opponents are hitting like a bucket. Yeah, quarter you're really going to struggle. It's, 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 so it's crazy. You're going into every series. Think go. You're going in one zero. He's the best left-handed pitcher in college baseball. Yeah, probably. which is a mouthful, but like it's true. Yeah, and yeah, he, he plays is. here. Uh, yeah. So you got to You got to win that game. He'll be a top five pick. Mm-hmm. So you got to win that game. All right. You get you, and then it's just you know, grinding out. Uh, you know, one of the other uh, two, or uh, you know, on a, on a regional, you need three wins. If you uh, stay in the winners bracket, so yeah, they're 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 fine. They're, it's just it, it's baseball. This is people want to like people have still not understood, and maybe this is just an internet thing, and fans in real life understand this. Um, but people think this is football, and every win is you know ecstasy, and every loss you should blow everything up and start over. It's baseball. Go, it's a lot different. Going two and one in a weekend's a good weekend. Three and O's a magnificent weekend. One and two is not the end of the world. You get swept. You, you got problems. I didn't like. Okay, like Saturday didn't bother me so much because Saturday, you know, Saturday was baseball. You hit the home run, they make the play. Well, Sunday, I didn't think they played very well at all, and that's the thing. And this is a lesson that I think Dave was talking about them learning. And uh, if they don't play well, they can be beat. Oh, of course. Well, they, that, that's that should apply to everybody. If, if you but, don't play but, the game well, yeah, you're going to But when beat. you win a lot, you get a like this feeling of invincibility. Sure. Like we can do anything like, and it doesn't matter. But if compl- you don't play well, if they don't play well, then I feel get beat. It, it's complacency. And and they just figure they can roll the ball out there and win. And that's not that's certainly not the case. I mean, it, it is baseball. It bounces funny. You know, you can have an off night. But I would still go back to look. You've got four or five pitchers that that you can count on in the in SEC league play. That's more than you've had in a decade. I mean, go back to you know what Blaine Knight go fourteen and zero, but he was. I mean, it was him, and it was a very young Isaiah Campbell. Yeah. Uh, and that, and then it was just a cast it, of of other guys. Yeah. This is much much different. That's well, why I keep saying that. I think they're a lock to get to Omaha simply because those arms are better than most teams have. They are well, yes. Uh, I mean, health and luck and all that stuff also uh, plays into it. Um, but yeah, I mean that they're. I don't watch every game of every league, but there can't be you know eight teams better than them. No, in the sport, there can't be. There just can't be. I mean, there could be teams that are good, but eight? I don't know. I, I don't think so. But that's not the exercise. You know, the exercise is when you know if you get the supers, win two out of three. In front on your home field, yeah. So you never know. Uh, it is uh, it's endlessly fascinating to me, um, and it's also not football. So like every loss isn't the end of the world. There are losses baked into this. Nobody's run the table. Nobody's gone one sixty two and zero to my knowledge. Maybe in the dead ball era, but no, no, not not that I'm aware of. But. So I mean, it's just part of it. You know, just you gotta you gotta the sport to me, and you know it far better than I do. Um, like it it. It preaches don't freak out. Yeah. Uh, one game is... Now, if you have a bad week, maybe you can freak out. If you have a bad weekend... But a bad weekend, two, uh, you know. Two bad weekends, yeah. You start to, you know, raise an eyebrow. One right. bad weekend's not the end of the world. Yeah. But a bad week or a bad two weeks is bad. like a bad six weeks in Major League Baseball. Yeah, but it's bad. You, you can also... Look, it's just about getting to the postseason. Yeah, you want to host and, all, and do all that stuff. You just want to get there. And then their depth will carry them. It's been the problem the last couple of years. They've run out of pitchers. Yeah. And you got to toss somebody out there who's either young, doesn't have a lot of experience, or isn't, you know, up to their level. And, and they struggle. You can have a veteran person on that stage. And it's, sure, it's, it's, you can. It's pressure. I, I would rather have a guy who's been out there and done it yeah. before. That's true. Versus, you know, throwing a freshman out there. Uh, and, and, but, have, and just seeing the moment be too big. But I also think that they... Um, I. I don't think I'm pretty confident in this. Um, it's like the it's like we were talking about earlier with Calipari. Like Calipari is looking for a certain minded individual that um, can um, that 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 that's what he's looking for. It's not spray and pray. You can't just be any baseball player and play for Dave Van Horn. He has a certain specialized Does he? thing because they've played like seven different styles. No, no, but I, what I'm saying is like from the mental side. Yeah, of now it, that like, you, you like be you've got to be like if you are not if you are adverse to pressure, you can't play here. No, because there is going to be pressure. Whether it's you know you know they talk about Omaha in the living room, like all all that stuff, and uh, you know most people can the people that can. The people that get here can handle it. 
because they know the deal going in. Some people, uh, you know, some mm-hmm. people aren't aren't cut out for it. They're not going to get everybody. Um, but I think it's it's a similar with Calipari and with the uh, with Dave that they're looking for that certain that certain profile psychologically of someone that you know is not going to wilt in, in the big moment. You know, when you're playing in front of thirty thousand people in a baseball stadium, that's a big moment. That is a very, very big moment. <laughs> that's pretty big. Very that's big bigger moment. crowd than the A's playing in front yeah. of. Them. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we need to talk hey, about that. We, you know, I, do, I have a question. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, mean, I don't know if uh, Cardinal fans out, and I don't want to make fun of the Cardinals today. For once, for once, I don't want to make fun Why? of the Cardinals. I just, I have a legitimate question, and I don't know how many of you stayed up and watched this thing last night because they're playing in Oakland and it's the I, middle I did, of the night. You stayed up. What happened with Marmel and the security guard? I saw this clip. Oh. I have no idea what happened here. Does he, anybody know what happened? He is a tremendous pain in the ass. The security no, guard or, no, or Marmel? Marmel? Oh, okay. What did he do? I, don't I mean, know. I saw like the guy gra- he grabbed it. I don't know what I was looking at. If, if any Cardinal fan, within the sound of my voice, has some context, please uh, drop us a line on the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. I legitimately want to know what happened there. Did he talk about it? Like, I, I don't know. I saw the clip and I'm like, that was strange. Uh, most of what is happening with that, that baseball team is strange. Right. And I love that you're just going to call them the, uh, the affiliate of the <laughs> athletics. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, they, they don't want to be called the Oakland A's anymore. Oakland, Las Vegas. I can't call them Sacramento. You do the old Berman joke. Right. Uh, Oakland, Las Vegas, San Juan, Capistrano. No, well, that takes too long. I got I to gotta <laughs> spit up. You know, your double A affiliate of the athletics. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> That's correct. All right, let's uh, let's uh, pause here and uh, let me uh, tell you about WC Equipment. Uh, big savings on hay tools, compact, mid-range tractors, and even large commercial-grade hay equipment. Buy now and save five thousand, ten thousand, or more in cash back, or get zero percent financing for up to forty-eight months on hay tools, sixty months on mid-range tractors, and up to seventy-two months on compacts. Whether you need to upgrade for weekend chores or need consistent strength and efficiency for your daily grind, they've got the machines you need with the deals you want. At WT Equipment, your partner in progress. WT Equipment, offer ends June 30th. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. Hey there, business ballers and entrepreneurs. Ready to make your financial dreams come true? Well, get ready to score big with SwishFunding.com, the slam dunk solution for all your business funding needs. Just like that satisfying swish when the ball goes in, SwishFunding.com guarantees you a seamless funding experience. Working capital, expanding your business, upgrading your equipment, or even covering payroll. If you have at least $25,000 in monthly revenue and been in business for at least one year, qualifying is easier than a layup. At Swish Funding, we fund up to $5 million in 24 hours. SwishFunding.com's team will guide you every step of the way. No more banking red tape. Just quick, decisive action to get you back in the game. Head over to SwishFunding.com and slam dunk your financial goals today. Remember, it's not just a shot in the dark. It's a surefire swish. Go to SwishFunding.com. That's S-W-I-S-H Funding.com. SwishFunding.com. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. If you're interested in continuing your involvement in high school athletics and want to make some extra money, what better way to do so than by becoming an official? For information on how you can give back to student athletes in Arkansas, please contact us at 501-955-2500. Again, that's 501-955-2500. The Arkansas Activities Association is looking for sports officials, and you may be the answer. Prescriptions require an online consultation with a healthcare provider who will determine if appropriate restrictions apply. See website for details and important safety information. Subscription required. Price varies based on product and subscription plan. Hey guys, did you know there's a generic form of Viagra that works just the same, but is 95% cheaper? And you can get it online at hymns.com slash joy. Through Hims, you'll get a free medical consultation to determine the ED medication that's best for you. Discreet shipping if prescribed, a 100% online process, and a range of treatment options, including trusted generic alternatives to the name brands, at up to 95% off. ED is personal, and at Hims, so is treating it. 
Just go to hymns.com slash joy and get connected to a licensed medical provider online for free with zero copay, no expensive appointments, and no awkward face-to-face conversations. To start your free online visit, you need to go to this exclusive address, hymns.com slash joy. That's hymns.com slash joy for your free online visit, H-I-M-S dot com slash J-O-Y. Are you ready to level up your wellness game and feel your absolute best? You bet, Amber, and the place to do it is Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Voxy is your ultimate destination for all things health and well-being. Whether you're looking to shed some pounds, boost your energy, or simply improve your overall wellness, Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness has got you covered. With a team of experienced professionals and a personalized approach, Voxy will help you achieve your weight loss goals like never before. And folks, if you're struggling with weight loss, fatigue, or even low testosterone symptoms, Voxy has a game changer for you. With our concierge medicine approach, we will be with you every step of the way through your wellness journey. Semiglutide is a groundbreaking medication that has shown remarkable results in helping people lose weight and keep it off. And Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness is one of the few places where you can access this life-changing treatment. Take control of your wellness journey and text Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness today. Text 479-274-8454. Remember, it's time to invest in yourself and score big on your well-being. Visit VoxyNWA.com. That's V-O-X-Y-N-W-A.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, historic rivalries tip off with shareable bites, and every shot you take is a game winner. All season long, you're balling with 29-degree beer, courtside seats, and scenic views. I mean, where else can you pair wall-to-wall hoops with hard-to-find whiskey? Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Stick around after the sun sets. Twin Peaks is open really late. Wind down with bourbon and late-night bites. Lindsay and Associates are celebrating their 50th year in the real estate business and are the leading real estate company in Northwest Arkansas. Whether you're listing, selling, or leasing, Lindsay and Associates can handle all your real estate needs. With over 200 professionally trained agents and three convenient locations in Fayetteville, Rogers, and Bentonville, Lindsay and Associates is a winning choice. Go to lindsay.com to search all the current real estate inventory. At Lindsay and Associates, we bring great neighbors together. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Electrical work can be dangerous. Don't let a do-it-yourself mistake lead to a bigger problem. Mr. Sparky's highly trained electricians can handle all of your electrical needs, guaranteeing that your job will be completed safely and within code compliance. Trust the experts at Mr. Sparky. We'll leave your home even safer than we found it. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. We don't read the headlines, we make the headlines. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Uh, hold, please. We have a uh, penalty kick. Killian Mbappe. What does that mean? To the, what? Oh, penalty kick. Yeah, we'll do the news. Oh, Mbappe. All okay, right. The news is brought to you by the good chair because I had a place to sit. It's a very sporty uh, show today. Get the good chair only at the stadium Stop. shop. Uh, stop by tell Robert Chobana Massa sucks. WNBA draft and Mbappe. My God, Kylian what is Mbappe, it? Par- PSG's about there getting ready for a, uh, a penalty kick. Barcelona's teetering. They're down a man. Yeah. And, and the the and goaltend, Ter, uh, the goalkeeper is, is arguing with the ref no, for some reason. No, he's not. What he's doing, he's trying to mess with Mbappe. 
Oh, I see. Oh, a little, little right, distraction. Chillian Mbappe, who like it should be like forty-one years old, but I think he's nineteen or twenty. Like right, the ball is in front of the dot. It's on the dot. He's ready and, to uh, go. Yeah, this this would this is bootleg play by play. By the way, this would officially send uh, PSG into the next round. All right, they uh, beat the on the dot. Here he goes on the approach. He shoots it. Oh, in. into the upper ninety. There it is. Anyway. Uh, uh, <laughs> sorry, that's hockey. Yeah, hockey that's... corner returns Monday. Everybody, get excited! There we go. Killing the Bob guys. Three one. Paris Saint Germain, and they are stunned on the Barcelona side. It's terrible. Onions. Uh, we got baseball tonight. Arkansas, will you make the final four in them wacky uniforms with the pigs with horns? And Say you were playing a game today hey! with the home crowd yelling woo pig suey. Hey, those pigs may be hogs, but they're kosher to me. Gabish. Second right Razorbacks hosting Texas Tech out at Fayetteville. Uh Red Raiders Ooh. are 26 and 11 on the year. Nine and nine in Big 12 play. Arkansas is 30 and 5, 12 and 3 in the league. They first are first pitch. They are scheduled. unranked, by the way. Texas Ooh. Tech. Yeah, they suck. Uh first pitch is scheduled for 7 p.m. ESPN2 has suck. the television. We're on the air at 6.30 with the Dugout Show. You can hear the game on selected ESPN Arkansas stations. Hit that line.com and the Hit That Line app. Transfer mm-hmm. portals wide open in both basketball and football. Oh, yeah. Uh, Calipari got his first commitment yesterday. Football team, a couple of guys jumped into the portal, have not uh, seen any uh, come back out towards them, but we'll keep an eye on it. Keep it posted. I'm not saying the guy's name either. That's what we say in radio world. Right. Uh, well, we'll, we'll keep an eye. You won't say his situation. name on What are you talking because about? Because I don't, I don't know how to say it. Oh, uh, Augustov? No. Oh, uh, oh, uh, v- 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 hold- e- v- e- Ivisich. No, I still, yeah. I still have it pulled up. Whatever. Uh, Ivisich. Ivisich. There you go. Uh, your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale. 479 225 8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Uh, do you get up to investigate strange noises in your house? 58% of you said absolutely. 42% of you said what will be, will be. Going back to your ex, like reheating McDonald's fries, 87% of you said yes. Can we call baby cheetahs Cheetos? 70.1% of you said yes. Did Dracula have it right? Sleep all day, live alone in a castle, and explode into a thousand bats in social situations? 84.9% of you uh, said yes, Dracula was right. Those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls. Brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809. All right, thank you. Okay. Our lines are open here on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, Titus likes hockey. Great. Hockey yeah. corner coming up on Monday. Everybody. Yeah, the playoffs yeah. are starting, aren't they? The, uh, the NBA uh, playoffs start tonight. Play this, in. The play-in tournament uh, sure. begins with, um, who is it tonight? Miami and uh, Philadelphia, right? That's uh, That'll be a good one. And then the uh, the late Lakers, game is late. Uh, is a uh, Golden State and Sacramento. Sacramento, and then tomorrow night, it's I can do this. It's the okay, you 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 do it. You know what? I can't. It's Bulls and Hawks. Okay, followed by Pels Lakers. Okay, that's the one that'll be fun. No, I'm wrong. All of that's wrong. Everything oh, I just geez. told you is wrong. All right, start over. Uh, both of the West games are tonight: okay. Lakers and Golden State. Lakers, Pels, Golden State, Sacramento tonight. It'll still be fun. And then tomorrow are the East games. Okay. Which is uh, Miami and Philadelphia and Atlanta and Chicago. Yep. There you go. Somebody's getting my New York Knicks. That's right. But there's only one place for the New York well, Knicks. Well, the winner of the Philadelphia 70s uh, Heat game yep. is uh, going to get it's the Knicks. Nice. Let's go Sixers. I'd rather face Embiid than, uh, than Miami. I love watching that guy play. Embiid? Oh, my God. I love it. <sighs> I love it. He's, he's fine. The Western Conference is endlessly fascinating to me. I know we've been very sporty here, and I do want to talk about the uh, mustache uh, championships. Yeah, well, we got to um, get DQ in on that. National Beard and Mustache mm-hmm. Championships. But think about this. Um, you could have the Lakers face in the first round last year's champs, Denver, and you could have Golden State facing this year's one seed, Oklahoma City. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I know they were, neither of those teams are what they were, but that's still kind of fascinating in the playoffs where they don't call anything. That's no, I'm intrigued. Did, <laughs> I'm intrigued. I don't think most of America is intrigued, but I'm intrigued by that. The Thunder are the one seed. The Nuggies are the two. 
You know what a hot. You know who's sitting in the three spot? Nobody talks about it's Minnesota. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna. Oh, Cat's great. Let me tell you something. Uh, he is the Stifle Tower sitting I, in the middle. I have great nickname. I have a hot take for you. Mm. The winner of the Clippers Mavericks series is winning the uh, conference. Clippers Mavericks. Yeah. Okay. Winner between the Clippers and Dallas Look, is, the, is going the to the. have the, three the of the NBA top final. fifteen players in the league yep. on that team. Yep. They don't have much else. Yeah. There's not that's a ton okay. there. Okay. They also have James Harden, who, they is, do. who I, is notoriously bad, bad in the pressure playoffs. moments That's correct. in the playoffs because he, he just wants to get to well, the beach. But that, he, he's a different player now than he was three years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, last year, uh, not this season, but the season last last season, he led the league in assists. Yeah. And, he, and with Paul George and Kawhi, I mean that's a he, that's a unique little uh, little thing to go there. They got going on out. There. We have a text here on the McClarty you know hotline that the uh, Celtics are going all the way. Well, you know. Teams historically in their position have done that. <laughs> I mean, the um, the teams that are that outscore their opponents by the most uh, the last four times in the league history, they've won the title. So I watched them play the Bucks a week ago, week and a half ago. Oh, when they phoned it in and didn't oh, have any free throws. Oh my goodness! I look if you are if you're the Boston Celtics, you better beat everybody by twenty because your coach can't coach in the last five minutes of a game if it's close. Oh, that'll you're, be fun. You're that'll in great. trouble. If you're a C's fan, man, good luck. Because if you're going to play a close game, you've got problems. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree with you on the clip, so I don't. But I just, I, I need to see Minnesota. But uh, oh, here's a homer. Gafford will make a difference for the Mavs. There you go. Okay. There you go. Kyrie's still on that team. He is. Lucas still there. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just check. Well, you need an X factor in the play. Oh, you need an X yes, factor. The, the glue guy. Yeah. No, he he does shoot a very and high listen, percentage. I'll give him. I'm sorry, Thunder that. fans, you're not going anywhere. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for your loss. Why? You're not. Uh, why? They just don't have the what? They don't what, have the championship do pedigree. What, what, they don't have it. There are a lot of teams that don't have championship. They pedigree. don't have. They're too young. The Warriors it, are keep winning. It's it. not their moment yet. It may be their moment. It's not to this. They it's have. Not this they year. have one problem and one problem only. They've got everything you need. The one thing they don't have is a guy who can handle somebody like Jokic. They yeah. don't have a Holmgren's not that guy. They they are not. It, it, they haven't. The cake, the steak hasn't been on the on the grill long I enough. Don't, I, they need a few more. They need another some more seasoning. All right. You I, know nobody. This is why uh, Denver was so remarkable last year. Like nobody in their first run at the title like well, they gets very it. rarely. Get and it. they did. Last well, they year. also got. But they favor- also have a freak on the well, team. They also got a favorable matchup when uh, when the Heat beat the Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals. Yes, that's yeah, also once true. the Celtics went out. The Celtics uh, much flamed more out favorable as matchup usual. with yeah. uh, with with the Heat. That's the yeah. thing about the Celtics is that, I mean they are the, the Buffalo Bills. Man, they run up all these numbers. Except in great. 09 when they won it with the, the big the yeah, three I'm basketeers. Talking about this incarnation of the Celtics. Oh well, it sounds to me from what you're telling me is that uh you know if it's a if it's a if it's an X and O matchup they're they're done yes, in the final. Yes, they've got you and me coaching them. Oh good. Well, that's, that's <laughs> gonna be so you, you don't worry about the Celtics and um. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, there. You go. Now back to the. Uh, back Sorry, to- Dudley. I, I D- Dudley Dawson noted Celtic. Oh, you love. Sorry about that. He's he's reeling from his Cardinals. By the way, thank you for sending us Tyler O'Neill. Did that anybody to explain? We got some text on Marmel. We we were talking about that before the break here. Uh, uh, Seth on the McCarty Hotline says fire Marmel. Okay. Uh, Skeeter says Ollie was trying to review. And the security guard steps on the field anytime the game is paused. Ollie was wrong in grabbing the guy. All right. Yeah, can't put hands on the security guard. No, not even the rental ones like that guy. Oh, forgive me. I've done the uh, the part time help. Did that made it worse? Didn't it? I don't worry. We'll, won't put it in the podcast. Nobody will care. Yeah, um, know, never give him a second run. At YouTube you. never lasts forever. Oh, oh. <laughs> you uh, you got me in a little trouble with oh. the podcast last night. What did I do? Well. We sort of took a shot at our friend Peter from oh, Australia. Yeah. Um, and it was in there? Yeah, apparently. Oh, okay. He was listening to the podcast, and I guess we um we lit him up pretty good about his um, Aussie rules predictions. What is this we business? You have a mouse in your pocket over there? Uh, no, you were part of it. I said you I, were you were right there in the middle of it. I do not remember any of this. So I awakened this morning, <laughs> get, came to work, to a flurry of DMs from Peter. Yeah, Peter uh, was not happy. He yet. is going to call in here in about two hours. Yes, he to is. To defend his picks. When he wakes up. 
when he was he's in Australia. Right. Uh, it, he was email or we were DMing back and forth. It was 1245 a.m. His time. Oh, wow. He will call us on the commute in Adelaide. OK, all right. Uh, on his way in. I look forward to that. And again, uh, I love hearing from Peter. I also love that it costs us a fortune to make that happen. <laughs> it cracks and, me up. And it's spider season down there. Now, that sounds terrifying. That I that I don't want to know. He about. he did say he said there are spiders, spiders everywhere. Oh, like now, there's cicadas. Yeah, like our spiders are, you know, quarter sized, dime sized. His are like poodle sized. Hey, uh, that's uh, that's not good. Those are like the mosquitoes in Woodruff County. They they're, they're small they're, children. Yeah, they're, they're they're like vehicles. You can ride them exactly. at the county fair. Uh by the way, with all this cicadas stuff, you know how um sixty four degrees and sixty four degrees. Thank you, Pavlov. All right, thank you. <laughs> Um, but with all this cicada, sixty-four talk, degrees. You know how um, you know when when stuff happens, they have a glow up on Spotify. You know something, whatever random thing happens. Like, do you think John Cicada has a glow up this summer in cicada season? Do you think that's happening? I could see that happen. I don't. He had a couple so. of bangers back in the day. No, yeah, make it through the day without you. Which one is this? Because they both sound the same. This is just another day. Oh. I was in high school when this came out. Is this at your prom? Probably. Okay. From what I remember. 73 degrees. Cicada, cicada. I can't figure it out. WNB. Does this this slap? No. (laughs) Intro is really too long. It's way too long. You can read the whole weather forecast in here. Put the community calendar. That's right. Yes. Oh, there went the lyrics. Oh man, yeah, I don't know. Well, yeah, he did have a little. Uh, he, he may have a glow up. He, he had a little. Know. He had a little thing in the early nineties. You don't know what around. TikTok's gonna la- latch on to. Is John Cicada still alive? I don't know. Probably, unless something horrible happened because he was a pretty young guy thirty years ago. Right. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is true. No, he's still around. Good. How old is he? Oh, gosh. 52. No, he's 62. Oh, uh, I was within 10. And I didn't go over. You know who he looks like? Who? Um, the uh, the president of Lambda 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 from uh, <laughs> Revenge of the Nerds. What was that guy's name? tri Yeah, the tri What was that guy's name? He's a very famous actor. Anthony Edwards? No. no. I don't know. That's who he looks like. All right. It's... Uh... 335 here on uh, Ruskin and Zach, 866-285-4005 is how you can get in touch with us on the McClarty Daniel hotline. All right, let's 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 break here, and we'll do the uh, mustache and beard thing, I promise, uh, coming up after these important messages. The you most might- influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Is your heating and air system up to task? Call Kelly and Larry, the champion heating pros at Unlimited Heating and Air to schedule your heating and tune-up service. Champion brand offers a 10-year parts and labor warranty on all new and replacement systems. Special tune-up pricing, $79. Military discounts as well as civil service discounts too. Unlimited Heat and Air is veteran-owned and supports all lines of civil service. Call today, 479-225-8809. Unlimited Heating and Air, your champion home comfort experts. WT Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service. For high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators, WT Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, WTEquip.com. Your Mach 1 market moment. And inflation is something we've been talking about for a long, long, long time. It's trickling into 24. It's still here. Yeah. You know, it's it's a different conversation than it was a year ago. You know, and I like this, how are Americans feeling? Yeah. You know, we see clients in our office every day, all ages, demographics. And I would say that there might be a slight tick up in optimism, but, you know, there there's still some pessimism. Oh, there, for sure. Some, some concern. I, mean, I, here in Northwest I just had a conversation with a client yesterday that they were like, things, everything's so expensive. Yeah. Just the basics of going to the grocery store and you walk out with two bags and it was 150 bucks. And that's a very real thing that getting the basics it, and trying to get by day to day. And 
it's costing a lot of money these days to do that. And Visit Mach1FG.com to hear the whole conversation and get your investment questions answered. For full disclosures, visit Mach-1Financial.com forward slash disclosures. For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. I like to be active. And as you get older, I know it because I am older. You're more prone to injury. And I could not get rid of the pain. QC Kinetics patient Diane Richardson talking about how a hiking injury left her in awful pain. No one wants to live in pain. I certainly don't want to live in pain. I don't have time for pain. Diane had heard about regenerative medicine. So she called QC Kinetics and started treatment right away. And the results were incredible. I couldn't believe it. I honestly was skeptical, but the pain went from a 10 to a zero. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in using natural biologics, healing properties from your own body to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. There's no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. The result was phenomenal. I mean, I was not feeling any pain. I'm able to do everything that I want to do. If you have pain from arthritis or injury, this may be the solution you're looking for. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. It was a game changer. Call QC Kinetics, 479-999-1234. That's 479-999-1234. 479-999-1234. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Have you heard? The Pleasure Playground just got a little bigger. Cupid's is growing. That's right. Cupid's Lingerie just opened its newest naughty location in Fayetteville at Crossover and Mission in the Walmart Shopping Center. Cupid's is a boutique specializing in all things pleasure and play. From lingerie to, well, everything you can imagine and more. Visit shopcupids.com today and treat someone special to something special. Cupid's Lingerie in Bentonville, Springdale, and now in Fayetteville. Cupid's Lingerie. Enjoy. Hi, the folks. I'm Chief Meteorologist Darby Bobby with the 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast out there this evening and overnight. We'll watch for a few spotty to scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area. It could be a strong one in there. We'll keep an eye on it for you through the morning hours. Temperatures don't drop much, only the low 60s. As we go throughout the day on Tuesday, another chance for a few hit and miss showers and storms. Could be a severe one in there. We'll be watching that very closely on Tuesday as well. Highs in the upper 70s windy for us and then we quiet down for wednesday with high temperatures back in the low 80s that to get ready weather only on 4029 espn 99.5 it's ruskin and zach on espn arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com Ruskin and Zach has been streamed in 157 countries, 50 states, two territories. Yesterday, we were streamed in Samsung, Thailand. Oh. Stream it too. Hit that line.com. You got one of the Google Play likes to dot things. Say, hey, play ESPN Northwest Arkansas, and we will show up. Uh, confirming uh, Heisenberg's uh, theory, mm-hmm. um, uh, John Cicada would be a fixture on Mix 96. That is correct. Yes. Oh, yes. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably during the drive home. Yeah. You ever do uh, that? Uh, what is that? I mean, what was your clock like? I mean, when when did you do the traffic? When did you do the weather? When it was news? Thirty minutes of commercial free music. Oh, look at you. Yeah. Okay, thirty right. minutes of commercial From free. The Fifty. You wrap it around. How many to songs the 20. in a row? I mean, how many songs in a row? I don't know. as many as we wanted to play. Well, I mean, you got to have a format. We weren't under uh, we weren't under an evil corporate regime. Well, this was a mon Clearly, you didn't have a program there. director either. I mean, what kind of chaos is this? It's no, we four didn't. Four sweeper. Four, sweeper, five. You know what? We could have used your expertise. Time. Just saying. It's four, four, sweeper, four. That would get you about 30 minutes. <laughs> could have used you. I told you the worst part of this, right? Um, that I recorded you- commercials off the radio and played them on the... I told you that, right? Did I mention this? Oh, God, I'm You've embarrassed. You've never mentioned that. Oh, <laughs> 
Hold on. Why did I do this? You recorded a stop set. That's an industry term. Folks. Yeah. You off the radio commercials. Yeah. And then played them back as my commercials. Yeah. Question. Yeah. Um, who sold? I mean, did you get the ad? I mean, who got the, the ad revenue for that? You were so well, you're doing well, sales we, too. That's probably why we didn't make it. We didn't get mm -hmm. much. Uh, right. you, built, you built the tower too, didn't you? Well, it was you know, you know something like that. There were uh, some tinker toys involved. <laughs> this is a sad, <laughs> sad. I don't think it's sad. Thank you, DQ. I mean, he you wanted are... to do this, and now he does. Well, not music, but you are always my favorite, DQ. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> This is coming from a person who has a hey, uh, sink have, in her bedroom. Kids have dreams. Right. Kids have dreams. What was your dream? Not this. <laughs> not this. Well, there you go. No, not this. There you go. Yeah, great. But who got the commission? Not me. So I, I don't you, know. You, you took other people's commercials. Yeah. So you did your own. Did you recut them? No, no, no. I just. Oh, you just played? recorded them and played them. Yeah. Did so you, you produce them? No. Was there music so you just played them? the same stop set over and over and over again? Yeah. There's like three breaks. And I just yeah, played them over and over again. Yeah. Competition on the same three commercials. What are you yeah, doing? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Huh. Um, and I would have aired the Calipari presser, unlike that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that. Yeah. I mean, the bare, minimum, the bare minimum is all we're looking for. Just plug it in. Um, for crying out loud. Wow. Wow. Nobody's minding the story. Do you remember what, what, the, what the order of the commercials I stops have at? No one? idea. Oh, no, yes, you do. I don't know. I don't really don't know. I know that I, uh, for one year for my birthday, I bought a mini disc player recorder and I recorded them on mini disc. And uh, just, you know, I thought that was the coolest thing ever because uh, you could like make the title. You could like, you know, scroll the little thing and, and you could yeah. make it a word. You know, not, you not, know. not the coolest thing ever. Well, I mean, for me, it was. Did you um, ever like when you were in the middle of a, you know, a long music set, look out the window longingly at other children that were outside doing things while you were in the house? No, there were no kids, <laughs> yeah. by you know, just grinding away over a. A hot microphone. Hold on, I gotta play this. I gotta play this Dave Matthews record. Give me a second. I gotta talk this up. Mix ninety six. I'll be out there in a second. I gotta play Creed I higher. Can't come now, mom. I'm in the middle of John Stakata. That's right. I got Huey Lewis coming up. Well, I'll come eat lunch. I got. I got. I, I got a break at twenty after. I go. I got three minutes then. All right. Then we're going right into a uh, third eye blind record, right, okay? Right. Now, did you do all shifts like morning? I midday? just did it from eleven to one every oh, day. Oh, you were just a midday guy. I did two hours, and then I got bored with it. I know you're all you're stunned to know that that I got bored with something, but uh, yeah, that's what I did. Wait, how old were you? Yeah, this was this like a summer thing? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, so I would just, do it in the summer. Yeah. Just did you tell people this? No, not, <laughs> until now, no. <laughs> Luckily, no one listens to this. We're joking. That's a joke. Um. All right. Just I, a couple more questions here from the uh, prosecution, if you don't mind. The pale prosecution over there. Am I pale today? Kind of, yeah. Am I really? You look a little jaundicey today. What? Jaundice? No, I don't think so. It's a, the, these, I don't know. It's the cameras. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it is. It is. Right. We could, I, I think we could have good lighting. Did we have ever, pretty good lighting. Did you ever do here. your show on a remote location? No, like, we didn't. You know, for maybe have, a, a, a lunch spot. There we never had the equipment. The dining room. No. Yeah, the di <laughs> we didn't have a Marty. That's very funny, DQ. No, we never did that. No. Did you ever get up from the terrible. table? Did you ever get up from the table and like have to run in and change the CD and then go back and eat? No, no. Okay. No. Wow. We never did that. All yeah, right. texture of the four seven nine and another piece of the puzzle falls Thank you. in place. I hate all of you. <laughs> I like the mix ninety six <laughs> stories. They, now, who was the uh, who was the OM of this place? I did it all. Oh, man. you did. Okay, so you were the the OM, the GSM, the one man band uh -huh. for two hours a day. Just out of curiosity, um, what'd your sister think of this? Oh, she thought I was an idiot, and I was <laughs> talking to myself. That's what she called it. <laughs> well, you're in there talking to yourself. I'm like, yeah, that's about right. What'd your dad think of this? You know, he was at work, so he didn't really oh, okay. he didn't well, know. That's what he mom was there. And I was yeah. like, yeah, shut up. I'm watching all my children in here. You leave me alone. Well, you make your mom sound like she's just, you know, burning a camel and watching <laughs> watching that watching the story. heyday of soaps in the nineties. I mean, they were on. Huh. Now there's like one a two left, I think. Well, one left. Because uh Days is on Peacock, it's not even on NBC. Now anymore. I know why your mom didn't discourage you from refing fake football games. I mean, at least you yeah. were outside. I was out of the house. That's right. right. It got me outside, I got some fresh air. Right. Fresh air in my lungs. All huh. right. Now. Uh, on to important things. Uh, 
attendees at the National Beard and Mustache Championships broke three Guinness World Records for longest chains of beards, mustaches, and partial beards. Uh, congratulations to the, this year's host city. They got the bid. They, they won the bid, Zach. Daytona Beach. Oh, really? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the, um, the longest uh, beer chain, beard chain, whatever that means. Uh, the beard sporting participants stood side by side, their facial hair clipped together into an 86-person chain measuring 195 feet, 3 inches. That is a new world record. Like to speak for the majority yes. of yes. America, that's disgusting, but okay. Then they went after the mustache world record. Uh huh. 27, I assume men, although you know, <laughs> some of the ladies, you never know. Uh, <laughs> that electrolysis going. Um, 20 feet four inches of mustaches, uh, you know, clipped together. Oh, the chain. Okay. That's yeah, chain. Yeah. What about nose that's, hair? <laughs> well, that's that's where Clune Haywood comes in. He leads the league in most uh. offensive categories. Uh, anyway, yeah. So there you go. The um, this is put on by something called, and you can all look this up. Beard Team USA. DQ. Would you like to be an official sponsor of the Beard and Nose Hair Challenge next year? <laughs> no. Hmm. Yeah, it blows his nose. It looks like a party favor. Uh, Matt's right. You dodged the "How old were you?" question. It's like uh, it's, it's immaterial. It's immaterial. Were you in your twenties? When's the last time you uh, you lit up the tower there? It's a mixed I was 96. 31 years old. 31 years old. <laughs> Doesn't matter. So what? <laughs> Thank you. No, I haven't done that in at least 15 years. You haven't. You didn't try to uh, convince any of the school, you know, the neighborhood kids that you were cool doing this, right? No, you nobody just, knew about okay, this. Right. No. Kept it a, okay, it was his secret. dirty yeah. little secret. This is my secret shame. <laughs> this is my secret shame. <sighs> All right, so yep. just to paint the picture, your dad's at work looking like Bob Ross. Your mom's on the couch smoking a camel watching her show. <laughs> right. you're, you're, you're in the studio uh, playing John Sakata and your sister's making fun of him. <laughs> That's right. Did I get that right? Pretty close, okay. actually. All right, yeah. okay. All right. I just want to make sure that I got <laughs> all of that. <laughs> Hoy! Yeah. Huh. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I've, uh, I've never felt better about myself than I do right now. Thank you. Wait, how do you win the beard? competition great question or is it is it a competition or is it just a convention well it is a championship okay so i guess they're judging beards like cleanest longest i i, I we'd have to talk to the people at beard team usa to uh, learn all of the uh, the categories here i don't know i just know that they set world records by clipping all their beards together it's 195 feet That's long disgusting. was matt <laughs> jones down there his beard's pretty i don't good. know He's got that ZZ Top beard going now. Oh, yeah, like a Dusty and uh, what was the other guy? The other guy. Yeah, the other guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The other guy in Wham. Yeah. 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 I like that the guy, this is a fun fact, free of charge, won't be on the uh, on, on the What Did You Learn. I like that the guy named Beard and ZZ Top did not have a beard. Yeah. See, that's that irony. That See, that's, that irony. Right there. that's irony. That's uh, irony. Corey wants it on the McCarty No Hotline with Chris Beard, a special guest. Yeah, I'm not sure if they could afford the uh, the uh, the appearance fee they for uh, Chris Beard at this thing there in uh, at Daytona. What a town! Oh man. Uh, all right. Oh, Mbappe scored again. Yeah, they're oh, they're, 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 over. oh, they are just now yeah, they're, they're they're rubbing it in. They're now. pouring it on now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, let's uh, see here. It's uh. 866-285-4005. You want to join us on the McClarty Daniel, Daniel Hotline, you can do that. You got a hiccup there. It happens. Here we go. Here we go with the hiccups again. I'm fine. Don't Just worry about it. Just stand in the corner, yeah. upside down, and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, Jody spent Malpina's text in, beware. Turtles are everywhere. Is it turtle season? Do, Jody, not, not do all... they eat cicadas? Cicadas. Okay. Okay. John Cicada. I'm sorry. I I will the first of many times I'll probably screw that up. Say we'll screw what up. Cic cicada cicada. Sixty four degrees. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now when we ring a bell, we'll give you sixty four degrees for a treat. Right. <laughs> Start drooling. <laughs> like uh, Dwight when uh, Jim closes out his computer, he wants a mint. You want uh, a mint? No. 
Uh, yes. B in Mountain Home would like to know if Mbappe plays in the SEC. Well, he could. Yeah, he could do a lot of things in the SEC. Mason wants to know, is there still a baseball game tonight? Yeah. Uh, yes, Mason. Yeah. Yes, and Mason. Uh, that was addressed uh, a little bit earlier in the hour. And uh, if you missed that, that's okay. Because it will live on in the uh, podcast, which is brought to you right. by... Uh, like two hours and two hours and 30 minutes. Late one tonight. Yeah. Seven. Ravi's in town. Who's with him? Uh, Kyle Peterson, uh, I, was hoping I believe. Eduardo would make it. I like yeah. Eduardo. Yeah. Yes, Carl Ravitch is uh, calling these games tonight. Both games or just the one tonight? Today and tomorrow, yeah. Really? He's doing the afternoon yeah. game, too? Wow, we're getting a double dip. Okay. Also impressive that they're doing a college baseball broadcast and neither of the announcers are remote. That's a, that's a Also rare, very that's, impressive. They're actually here, I think. I believe they're in the they're in town. Go look up Carl Ravitch's social media and see if he's in town. I don't know. Feels weird stalking Carl yeah. Ravitch on uh, on Twitter, but here we are. Uh, yeah, looks like he's here. All right, this is Russ and Zach eight six six two eight five four zero zero five on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Uh, we will hear from Australia in about an hour and 15, 15 hour twenty something like that. Something like that. Whenever they wake up over the spider season. Yeah, that sounds uh, not great. That doesn't sound great. Okay, we'll be right back. I'm Allison Wise in the 4029 Newsroom. If you're an experienced fighter jet mechanic or an expert in aircraft support, Lockheed Martin might have a job for you. This is part of the Foreign Military Pilot Training Mission that's coming to the Air National Guard base in the River Valley. Today, they held a career fair. A spokesperson says they interviewed more than 300 people, but there are more job openings. You can go to 4029tv.com for more details. And we have new details in the case involving a four-year-old who was killed in Worcester, Oklahoma. Police say the 18-year-old driver had nearly doubled the alcohol limit. Miguel Reyes is now at the LaFleur County Detention Center. A report from Highway Patrol says that Reyes crashed into a home on Sunday afternoon where the child was playing on the porch. Those are your headlines. I'm Allison Wise in the 4029 Newsroom. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. Supply issues are no issue at Shamrock Roofing and Construction. As one of America's largest roofing companies, we stocked up early and we stocked up big. We can do your job right now. And because we paid less for our material, we can share those savings with you. Call today or visit us at shamrockroofer.com. Attention homeowners, storms are firing up quickly and widespread damage means thousands are reaching out for the right roofing company. Don't wait. Get on the schedule with Shamrock Roofing and Construction now for quality and peace of mind. One call does it all. Shamrock Roofing and Construction call 479-319-5100. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and, of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Lindbergh Team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Lindbergh Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row, serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LindberghTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. For the past several years, you've been casting your votes for the best of Northwest Arkansas, and the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater in Springdale has received many of them. Best new restaurant, best sports bar, best steakhouse, best overall restaurant, best chicken wings, and for 2023, best sports bar and best salad. Check out their event room for parties and banquets. Be sure to sign up for rewards points and follow the All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Facebook. Check them out at theallamericansteakhouse.com, then come in and see for yourself. The All-American Steakhouse and Sports Theater on Sunset in Springdale. 
your one-stop shop for everything golf. Golf USA in Fayetteville. The best selection, the biggest brands. Titleist, Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Mizuno, PXG. Great golf apparel by Travis Matthew. FootJoy, Adidas, Nike, Bad Birdie, and William Murray. And Golf USA has been a Golf Digest top fitter six years in a row. They have full club repair and two hitting bays for custom fittings and indoor play. We are as golf as it gets at Golf USA, 3184 North College in Fayetteville. Get ready for adventure with unbeatable deals at Wheels RV. Now through the end of February, we're rolling out the red carpet for you with our exclusive employee pricing event on select in-stock trailers. That's right. You pay what we pay. It's our way of saying thank you for choosing Wills RV. Employee pricing on select models. RV show pricing on all new and used inventory. Hurry in. This offer is for a limited time only. Visit Wills RV today for details and to start planning your next great adventure. Seek, explore, discover with Wills RV. Precision Overhead Door features the finest quality materials, installation, and service for all of your overhead door needs. Fully licensed and insured with the largest showroom in Northwest Arkansas, located at 1907 Town West Drive in Rogers and 416 North 10th Street in Fort Smith. Give them a call today at 844-PDS-DOOR or online at precisiondoornwa.com. Financing is available. Precision Overhead Door voted Best Garage Door Company of Northwest Arkansas and the River Valley. Precision Overhead Door. Welcome to McClarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McClarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McClarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McClarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McClartyDaniel.com. AKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline, 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Hey, Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. <laughs> you have been sick of this all I know. Hey. Uh, we've been sent a uh, wildlife clip that I would like to address okay. here. That I'm, I'm watching this on our uh, X page uh, from uh, Butte, Montana, Dateline. Uh, Butte, Montana. There is a. Um, oh my God. I'm not making this up. There's an elephant walking the streets in Butte, Montana. Ha! Just walking around right by the hold gas station. Hold up. Hold <laughs> up. Hold up. How on. Um, do you have any details on this? Uh, it says here. An elephant. This is from NBC Montana. An elephant got loose in Butte Tuesday. The elephant is now safe with its handlers. A viewer said before the elephant was captured, it did number two on a Butte lawn. <laughs> That's a big two. With an elephant? Are you kidding me? Wow. So you're going about your day in Butte, just a normal Tuesday, and then all of a sudden there's an elephant walking down the street. How's that working out for you? Not great. Yeah. Uh, traffic uh, is stopped, as you could imagine, in this video, because there's ask, an elephant walking I, across the road. Can I ask a dumb question? I would. Uh, I'd love to hear this. Why, that is one big pile of shit. Why is there uh, an elephant in Butte, Montana? I do not know, but uh, he, he is now. The elephant is now safe with handlers, so that's the good news. They didn't have to code. They didn't have to shoot it or dart it or any of that stuff. I don't like watching these animals get darted on these. Uh, these. Um, uh, these veterinarian shows or whatever. Like, I understand, like, you can't just go in there. You got to sedate the you, thing. Okay, but so I'm looking at this I don't video, like watching it. And, and it's shot from the windshield of a car. DQ, yeah. if an elephant is walking towards you, I mean, you're 
I mean, you're not the elephant's not the only one taking a number two. That's right. Yeah, you're gonna need a new pair of pants. What on earth is an elephant doing in downtown Butte, Montana? I don't know. He's walking past the casino. It looks like is that yeah. what that is? Yeah. Man, well, just man, he's just out taking them. He's <laughs> he's taking in the sights of probably, Butte. Probably had a big lunch. He's just uh, you know taking the uh, taking a stroll. He was on his way to Bozeman. Wow. See the Bozites. Yeah. That's um. Wait a minute. What is this casino called? Oh, let me see this. Mont Montana Lills. Okay. Montana Lills Casino. Uh, DQ, Walking Abner, through the parking lot. Abner would like to know if you think elephants are real. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, don't say it like, how <laughs> could we ask you that? Now, yeah, of course. Is a mon is an elephant, uh, you gamblers out there, um, <laughs> is an elephant walking through the uh, parking lot of a casino good luck? Or is that considered bad luck and you need to leave it, cash out immediately? Huh. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> that's something. Um, uh, I don't... Uh, I don't know. Oh, uh, Kevin and Harrison has a great question mm. on the McClarty Daniel hotline. Asking for a friend that's quitting his job oh, this excellent. week. Is the elephant going to be close to Arkansas soon? It may visit a certain supervisor's desk. <sighs> oh. Kevin, I don't think he can do that. Well, if he's on the way out the door, who cares? Well, you never want to burn a bridge. Mm. Right? Well, no, no. I, I, no, you don't want to do that. No, you just want to you want to leave on a professional you know, with unprofessional terms, in a in a professional manner. That's right. And continue this broadcast. That's correct. You never want to. Uh, you never know when you're going to run across somebody again. Yeah. Yeah. Now I don't believe in any of that, but you should. <laughs> That's right. You you are not a believer. No, in that no. Sort I of say thing. you know this is scorched earth as far as I'm concerned. That's right. Like Sherman rolling through Atlanta, just burn it all to <laughs> the we ground. Get a, can we get a better <laughs> example than that? Well, that's only a hundred and seventy five yeah, years old you or know, so. Yeah. He was on the losing team, though. You got anybody on the winning team? No. Okay. All right. Fine. Uh, okay. What Not about, that I'm aware of. What no. about uh, you know, uh, uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know any uh, references that would uh <laughs> not be problematic here. So we'll just move. Yeah, along. I think you should probably just. Uh, there's an elephant loose in Butte. Now I want to spend some more time. I've spent some more time uh processing uh this uh, John Sterling news yesterday, and I don't want to uh you know talk about great calls and all that boring stuff. I have uh, been a student of broadcasting for a long time, and I didn't know you could quit like this. I did not know you could just wake up and go, I don't want to do this anymore. And that's it. It's over. There's no farewell tour. There's no, uh, you know, final, uh, you know, they give you the key to the whatever. There's none of that. And not a whistle stop it's, tour. It's, this is the anti SmackDown. He woke up and it's like, I don't want to do this anymore. And he quit yeah, at 85. Were you here for the SmackDown whistle stop tour? I was. Okay, yeah. This is the opposite of that. Okay. This is how I want to go now. It's I've always just thought. Wake up one day and say, I'm done. Yeah, I just, you know, on a random Tuesday, I'm be like, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. Goodbye. <laughs> and that's it. You'll never know when my last show is. Because I'll just not, well, I won't do it. You can also look at it from the the people on the, 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 the company side of things like, he was a tremendous pain in the ass. Well, so, now that's another part of this I wanted to say. What what did Susan Waldman describe him as? He described him as a very unique individual. Yes. Which is code for what a pain <laughs> in the ass. Yes, right. Yeah, there's two things here. I want to quit like this one day. And I don't want you two to refer to me as the most unique person we've ever met. No, 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 no. Because that means that I was a terrible person. No, we use word special a lot. <laughs> Thank you. He, he's a he's a special kind of stupid. Um, uh, yeah. we're, we're, I, look, I, I'm not a John Sterling fan. I know he's been there for eons. Um, 36 seasons. 36 seasons. Great. Good luck. You know. No, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about the, uh, the broadcasting. That's been done to death. I didn't know you could do it this way. You can do it any way you want. I was listening to him talk about this. And he said... Um, you know, the season ended last year, uh -huh. and then I got to sit around and watch TV for four months, right? and I liked it, and yes. I want to do that. Hey, it's called retirement. And so he's like, I want to do that, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to sit around and watch TV. Imagine if he'd done it 20 years ago. <laughs> well, we would have missed out on some some stuff. Would we have missed it? Yeah, sure. I'm going to say no. Yeah. So I um so I, I didn't know this was an option, but I am choosing this option now. You're all for this. Yes. Okay. One day I'm going to call you and go, that's it. That's it. I'm not calling it. Could you give me like a day's heads up, please? Maybe. Thanks. Maybe. Probably so. That'd be great. Yeah. 
But there's no more of this two months note. Like I'm not doing any of that. I just want to. I want to go the John Sterling way, okay. which is that. And I don't want to go at 85 either. Like way, oh. be, way before Could that. Could you imagine doing this till you're 85? I can't imagine doing anything. I can't imagine 85. anyone wanting to listen to me for 44 more years, 43 more years. There can't be anybody out there that would want to hear this. No. Over and over and over again no. for like. There, there's no way. So, no, I can't imagine doing this in my 80s. Uh, DQ, uh, we're getting some questions here. Uh, have you thought about Boomer Esiason this week? No, I haven't. How's the game? <laughs> <laughs> she lost. <laughs> uh, Jake Tapper's on. Isn't he mean all the time? Who? Yeah. Yeah. Who? You. you. Why? You're mean. Why? Yeah. What is mean? I simply asked if, if you had You're thought about... You're doing it to be mean. No, I'm not. I'm simply doing it because I am gen genuinely inquisitive. <laughs> <laughs> is uh -huh. that what it is? Yes. <laughs> I am I am interested in DQ's day. You want to go back? To, hey, it's almost summertime. You want to go back to scaring each other uh, every I day? I don't want to do that okay. anymore because now I carry drinks in and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's why. That's and why I if I drop it. one, I'll leave. It'll be like that scene in um, the office where uh, he's uh, Michael's all uh, about surprise parties and like yeah. people are dropping stuff, yeah. falling <laughs> over every time. <laughs> I'm surprised like, everywhere. I've watched that in a couple weeks. Yeah. I, I've, well, I've, you got stuff going on. I do. I mean, I got a lot going on. <laughs> <laughs> got a lot going on. I really don't. <laughs> I really don't have anything. Well, going it's on. almost playoff time, so you're about to have a lot of stuff. Not going really. On. Yeah. Hey, you got to watch the playoff. No, it's better. Okay. Better than the regular no, season. Like last night, they actually play. Last they night, try. Last night, I went home. I watched the news, and then I went to bed. That's enough. Yeah, I know. I didn't have that on my bingo you card. You watching either. the news? Yeah, I know. Anybody watching the news? That's nope. an upset. I laid right there. there for about 45 minutes. I mean, unless you watch 4029, because they're the best. I mean, our favorite. I mean, if, we need to do this. Like, first one up in the morning needs to send the text. Like, if you'd sent the text at 2 30, I would have responded because I was up. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, it's old man time. You know, there's that window between like two and three where you got to get up, you got to pee. You know, it's what the, yeah. what the old folks do. I could not, um, I could not shut my brain off. Yeah, I couldn't do it. Why? I don't know. I, it's I one figure of those of things. All the things you do, shutting your brain off would be the easiest thing. Well, turning it on is, is the most well, difficult as thing. I'm say, as I was saying, I, that should that requires so, the lowest wattage. I, yes, that's right. Yeah. I mean, there are uh, <laughs> there are there are dome lights in cars running more things wattage running than on me. A, like a D battery. <laughs> Not even a triple A, man. That's nothing. <laughs> it's like I was just thinking about you know how they talk about stuff like um like uh, all the computing power in like Apollo Eleven mm. is now in your watch yeah, like, yeah that yeah, that, yeah. that kind of thing. See, yeah, I don't something. believe that because that would just make me feel bad. The yeah. the group text this morning I thought was wildly interesting because well we got into the B thing. Well, yeah. the first thing I got this morning was a picture of a homemade bagel. Yes, DQ made bagels. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. DQ is hundred and eight years old. <laughs> That's the first thing I got this. Well, no, no, I take it back. I take it back. The first thing I got was at eight oh three this morning, uh, from you about the uh, the smudge pot. Oh, the the greatest Fayetteville sentence ever. Right. Oh, then I learned someone called in and explained what that was. Okay, it's to keep the frost off of sure. the plants. Yep, you bet. It's also to light whatever they were lighting. Uh, then the DQ, sticky icky. Th th this is the way it went. DQ completely ignored you. And Thank then you. threw you. out two pictures of bagels, and uh, and it says my first attempted at bagels was a moderate success. Right. Better than my first attempt at making my own quesadilla, which was not. Now, DQ, great. what uh, were these? Just plain bagels? They were. I didn't want to try to get into any any creativeness with this batch because oh, I had yeah, never made them before. If you put fruit in there, don't come to work. If you put raisins no. or anything like that in there, don't come to work. I will shame you. I will publicly shame you for, for ruining a good thing. Here's a great text out of the 870 on the McFarland mm. hotline. If both of you do this show until you run out of content, how long will the show last? Sir, we would have we would have <laughs> run we would have stopped three years ago if we we're, if we we're out. Roughly we got nothing. Roughly an hour and forty eight minutes. We are professional time wasters. That's correct. We are here to keep the transmitter from calling Tommy. We're making noise. <laughs> That's all we're doing. Because if we go quiet. Then the boss gets a call that right. the station's quiet and you got it. That's all we're here to do. That's all we're here to do is to make noise. That's it. <laughs> this is 
think of it this way. This show is nothing but detention. Yes, it, it that's is, right. It is. You you are in in school suspension with us. Right. ISS. Right. You guys in the room with no the, windows you're following the rules. You're not you're not making a bunch of noise. We are right. Yes, that's right. That's why we get sent back. Every that's day. all this is it's in school detention. We are professional time wasters. Mm -hmm. That's what this is. What is wrong with raisins or blueberries and bagels? Eric and Greenwood, we know you. Go take a lap. Leave your car. Give me the keys. Go take a lap. Oh, he's got the fancy car. I, I remember him. Raisins and blueberries do not belong in bagels. Are you getting another sports car with the next car? Or what are you doing? I... <laughs> well, I uh, okay, well, we'll put that I, down as a yes. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, it's not a sports car. No, I am. Um, I am like a Corolla? No, no, no. <laughs> No, no, I'm act actively shopping. The car that I have is wildly impractical. Yes, true. But God, it's fun. Um, yes, it is wildly impractical. But it's time to. Uh, you've had your fun. It's time to. Uh, oh no, 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 no! I'm, I'm, I'm tra What I'm doing is I'm transferring my, uh, my four wheels to a different kind of fun. I see. All right. Oh, you're getting an ATV <laughs> to drive around in. In a manner of speaking, yes. Are you getting a motorcycle? No. With sidecar? No. What about one of those like three wheeler deals? Absolutely not. The big motorized no, tricycles? No, no, no. Those things are cool. No, no. Two no. wheels in the front? No. No. Okay, all right. Yeah. Pa Patricia's she loves an onion bagel. That's the only acceptable thing. Bulldozer? What? You gonna drive a bulldozer? I'd yeah, I'd love to drive a bulldozer. Caterpillar? I'd love to do that. Skid steer, something like that. I love WT com equipment commercials. Hook me up. I just want to oh, drive you want around. a tractor? I, yeah, I just want to drive around. For, I get you a tractor. I just want to drive around the parking lot. I can get you a tractor. Ben in Fayetteville's here on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Hello, Ben. Guys, I was thinking of y'all this weekend. I was out in Eureka, and uh, what made me think of you is it was a, there was a UFO convention. So I saw the. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. How did we miss that? You guys that? are the first thing that came to mind. And Eureka's weird enough, but with a UFO convention, <laughs> oh, buddy, Fair. I'm telling you. I mean. The smell of patchouli and all the women that look like Sasquatches from the waist down was amazing. Um, but I found this place. It's an antique vintage candy store. And the candy could be 35 years old. I don't know. But I picked you up a couple of bags of Big League Chew. Oh, yes. I got some really. I got you some Big League Chew. I'm going to bring it by tomorrow. I picked up a bunch of old candy like. The uh, the bit of honeys, oh, and they had yeah. like the uh, yeah, and they had like the I don't even know what it's called. It's like a peanut butter flavor. It's like a white thing with some brown stripes. It's basically all the candy that your grandparents had oh, that oh, none of those. your cool friends would eat. You, you know what I mean? It yeah. was like that. It was absolutely epic. Bring that peanut so I butter candy. I, I think I know what you're talking about. I love those things. Yeah, it looks horrible, but it's so good. It is good. I mean, it's yeah. like chewing on a piece of peanut butter flavored cardboard, but it's so damn good. <laughs> when you put it like but that, who the can? The thing uh... I was calling in about. Yes. Yeah. Who can resist? Who can resist? Right. But the thing I wanted to bring up, or the little bit of information I've noticed: how much longer can the WNBA continue? I mean, granted, women make up fifty percent of the population. Caitlin Clark is the only name that anyone can say from from women's basketball. She gets a four year contract for three hundred and eighty eight thousand dollars. The NBA first round pick he had a he had like a fifty five million dollar contract. But I put all of the blame on the NBA or women's NBA on women because they make up fifty percent of the population, but they don't go and support this. They don't. They don't. They don't fund it. The NBA subsidizes it, but yet they want all of this, uh, for lack of a better term, equality, and it's just not there. I propose, here's what I propose, and you can go back to the 90s. We saw a glimpse of it when Larry Johnson was grandma. Remember Grandma Ma? Yes. I say we bring out all of these old, retired superstars, put them in a girdle or leotards or whatever, a wig. And we, we hype up the WNBA with some of these old washed up has beens, and then I would actually watch it. And I think most of the people listening would watch it as well. Okay, Ben, thank you so much. DQ, your thoughts on that phone call? I think that the women going into the WNBA, they know how 
they know how much they're getting paid, you know, because everyone talked about how Caitlin Clark could make so much more in college. Mm -hmm. But she knows that. So she knows how much she's going to get. She knows how much she's going to make. But I mean, she truly thinks that she can change the game. And I, I do believe that. And I don't know a lot of women who watch the NBA, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, not here. Um, this, no, is not, not, this, is yeah. not, this is not an NBA town. Not this a hotbed of uh, no, really fandom isn't. here. So, no. I'm I'm going to be very curious to see what this wave of players coming out of college does for the WNBA. They're getting ready to renegotiate their rights. Yep. He's, Ben's right. The They've NBA already does, got a new deal with the CBS. Mm -hmm. The NBA does subsidize the WNBA. Um, it's it's a 40 game season. It's something that they put in in between the NBA season. Uh, it 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 picks up when the NBA season is winding down, and it winds down as the NBA season is picking up. There's a place for it. Um, I I really believe that, and I'm going to be very very intrigued to see what the Caitlin Clark effect is. I also want to see the well, number on the draft. More last people night. are watching. But this is not like an opinion. The women's tournament was far more but, interesting but than the men's. More people are watching women's sports now mm -hmm. than in the history of television. When you look at women's soccer, basketball. Uh, gymnastics, softball is real big it, for ESPN. It, like people are watching but this. But here's stuff. the other thing, and and Ben doesn't understand this because he's our age and male. Ben's not their target audience. Right. People my daughter's age are the target audience now. Younger women, that's who they're marketing this thing to, and that's you know that's hard for that's hard for people my age to understand because you are no longer the one that they are catering to. You're obsolete. And it, it, you're right. I mean, women's sports are more popular than ever right now. Oh, yeah. What, what was the number on the, the championship game? 19? 19 yeah, million. 19. More people watch the women's uh, title game than the men's. And more people will watch the women's title game than any NBA playoff game, sure. including the finals Absolutely. this year. Guaranteed. Now, because of what? Star Caitlin power. Clark. We know or, who the so, people yeah, are. Uh, yeah, you know who the people are. Now, the, N the WNBA has a lot of great players. Yeah. But what it doesn't have is a lot of great personalities. Caitlin Clark changed that. If it if she does, if she's I've, transcendent, or if it's another in Angel Reese or whoever, you might have something there. No, I do think it's it'll still be not as watched because I mean, there's always the effect of professional sports versus college sports. People prefer college because you know there's the effect people, that they're doing it for the school. People here prefer college. Yeah, that's not right. a nationwide. That's, that's thing. not a. I mean, yeah. New York City. The, the Northeast college athletics doesn't exist. They don't care. Right. It, right. It's all about it's, it's professional. Pro -town, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I just, I, I, the thing is that, that I think we're using the wrong, me we're, we're using the wrong measuring stick on this because like we are trained that, well, if it's not doing what football does, then it sucks and nobody watches it. That's not, that's not true. What has happened is, is that as you know, Honestly, as Major League Baseball cannot get out of its own way, there has been a little bit of a real estate that's been left open, and other things have come well, in and, and taken it. Well, and women's sports, uh, the, 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 the soccer matches get watched in the in the in the uh, summertime. Women, the NWSL softball does does big numbers uh, for ESPN in the Women's College World Series. I was, I, mean, I, was basketball. Just, I was just sitting here reading an article: an NHL playoff game is going to get bumped for uh, Caitlin Clark's debut. Right. I mean, that tells you all you need to know. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and they're moving. They're moving. Um, see, the WNBA, um, when it started, was in the big buildings. Then they scaled down to smaller mm -hmm. buildings. And now because of the demand for Caitlin Clark tickets, they're going into bigger buildings for some of these teams. They're having to play in, uh, you know, in, in larger arenas to accommodate the demand of the people. So um, it is a... Um, it is, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's league, it is, it, there is, but this is not arguable. There, there's never been a, women's sports have never been more popular than they are the right now. The 28 period. years old. It is, this is the most important phase of the WNBA ever. Because if you're not going to capitalize on this, you're probably not going to capitalize on it at all. Yeah. I mean, you have, you have lightning in a bottle. Can you make it work? Yeah. All right. It is uh, 22 after the hour here on Ruskin and Zach. Stay with us more coming right up. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 866-285-4005. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. 
If you're looking for a company to dispose of your waste responsibly, Cards Recycling is your best option in Arkansas. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Now with a state-of-the-art transfer station in Springdale, Cards accepts residential, commercial, and industrial waste, including construction and demolition material. Waste collection for businesses of all sizes, dumpsters, roll-offs, compactors, you name it, Cards can handle it. No job too big or too small, Cards does it all. Visit them online at CardsRecycling.com or give them a call, 877-59-CARDS. Whether it's baseball season, basketball playoffs, or hockey playoffs, experience it live this spring with Vivid Seats. With one of the most reliable rewards programs in the business, Vivid Seats makes it easy to score great deals on great seats with a 100% buyer guarantee. Plus, with Vivid Seats rewards, you can earn with every ticket purchase, including surprise seat upgrades, birthday discounts, free tickets, and more. Just visit VividSeats.com or download the app today. Vivid Seats, the official ticketing partner of ESPN. It's Ruskin and Zach. Give me the hog truck. When you're looking for your next side-by-side motorcycle, ATV, or zero-turn mower, look no further than your local Wood Power Sports store. With convenient locations in Springdale, Fayetteville, and Harrison, we've got nine brands to choose from. If you can think of it, we've probably got it. These three convenient locations also provide you with outstanding service and parts capabilities. Want to know more? Visit us online at woodpowersports.com. Pick your brand, location, or shop all three. We look forward to earning your business. Wood Power Sports, a solid name you can trust. Hey, here's a question. After you wear your clothes, you toss them in the washing machine, right? Nobody wants to wear dirty clothes. So how come you don't throw your shoes in the washing machine when they get dirty? I mean, come on. Your shoes are touching the filthy ground all day long. Gross. Well, with Skechers, you can. Because most Skechers are machine washable. That's right. Skechers are specially made so you can toss them right in the washing machine and keep them clean and looking new. And when they look new, you can confidently wear them longer. That's less shoes you're going to want to throw away, which means less waste. And it'll save you tons of dough. I love that. Plus, machine washable Skechers are for the whole family, men, women, and kids. So when your kids get their shoes dirty, oh, and we know they will, just wash them. Brilliant. And even our latest technology, new hands-free Skechers slip-ins are washable. You just step right in and go without bending down or even touching your shoes. So give your Skechers the same treatment you give your clothes. Just toss them in the washing machine and keep them looking brand spanking new. Buy machine washable Skechers at a Skechers store, Skechers.com, or wherever stylish footwear happens to be sold. If you're interested in continuing your involvement in high school athletics and want to make some extra money, what better way to do so than by becoming an official? For information on how you can give back to student athletes in Arkansas, please contact us at 501-955-2500. Again, that's 501-955-2500. The Arkansas Activities Association is looking for sports officials, and you may be the answer. Hey, Ty Richardson for Brett and Shannon Brundage at Fish City Grill. Local Arkansans who grew up in the state and are Razorback fans just like you. At Fish City Grill, you'll taste the difference with fresh shucked oysters and their chalkboard specials. Fish City Grill and Rogers, available for curbside pickup and delivery. 479-636-8833. Come by and see their team at 2003 South Bellevue Road in Rogers. Fish City Grill, your home for all things. Seafood. Hey, Northwest Arkansas, ever feel like you're carrying around a backpack full of bricks? That sluggishness, that weight, it's holding you back from being your best self? At Boxy Aesthetics and Wellness, we've got the game changer you've been waiting for. Semaglutide Compound. Imagine shedding those pounds, feeling lighter, and regaining that confidence you've been missing. But let's get real for a second. What happens if you don't take action? That backpack, it gets heavier. Your health, your energy, your zest for life, all weighed down. Why choose Boxy? Simple. We're not just about weight loss. We're about transformation. Our tailored programs, expert guidance, and weight loss medications combine to offer you a personalized path to success. And fellas, listening on ESPN, this isn't about vanity. It's about vitality. It's about reclaiming your game on and off the field. Are you ready to drop that backpack and step into a lighter, brighter tomorrow? Choose Voxy Aesthetics and Wellness. Choose transformation. Choose you. Go to VoxyNWA.com for more details or text us at 479 474-8454. That's B-O-X-Y-N-W-A dot com. Are you ready to upgrade your ride? Head on over to McClarty Daniel Country. McClarty Daniel has over a 1,000 used cars to choose from, so you're sure to find the perfect vehicle to fit your needs and budget. 
with six convenient locations in Bentonville and Springdale. You're never too far away from a great deal, but that's not all. If you're looking for something brand new, they've got you covered there too with a great selection of new cars available for you to upgrade to. So what are you waiting for? Come on down to McClarty Daniel and drive away in the car of your dreams. Online at McClartyDaniel.com. Join us in celebrating Burton Pools and Spawn's 46th anniversary. Get incredible deals on in-ground pools with savings up to $12,000 and construction starting in May. Snag up to $1,200 off Doughboy above-ground pools and $5,000 off Doughboy semi-in-ground pools. And hot tubs start at an unbelievable price of just $39.99. Celebrate with us and pocket huge savings at Burton Pools and Spas in Springdale and Fort Smith. At Burton, we do more than build pools. We build long-term relationships. Hello, the folks, I'm Chief Meteorologist R.B. Bobby with their 4029 Get Ready Weather Forecast. Out there this evening, could be an isolated shower or storm, but low chance. Otherwise, a quiet night. The wind's starting to calm down as cooler air comes in, waking up in the 50s for our Wednesday morning. to get the Wednesday afternoon, hey, less humid, still pretty warm, though. A lot of sunshine, highs in the mid-80s. Next system comes in on Thursday with a chance for some scattered showers and storms. Could be a stronger one in there on Thursday. Highs still in the low 80s. Behind that front, turning cooler for the weekend. That's your Get Ready Weather, only on 4029. ESPN 99.5. Join the local conversation on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 866-285-4005. The most influential show in Arkansas. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. There's baseball tonight out at Baum, second-ranked Razorbacks host to Texas Tech. Red Raiders are 26-11 on the year, 9-9 in Big 12 play. Arkansas 30-5 and overall, 12-3 and in the league. First pitch scheduled for 7 p.m. Your Ruskin and Zach Expos brought to you by our good friends at Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809 for all of your heat and air needs. Do you get up to investigate strange noises in your home? 58% of you said absolutely. I'm with the 41.6% of you that said what will be, will be. It's going back to your ex, like reheating McDonald's fries. 86.6% of you said yes. Can we call baby cheetahs Cheetos? 70.4% of you said yes. And did Dracula have it right? Sleep all day, live alone in a castle, and explode into a thousand bats in social situations. 84.1% of you said Dracula was right. Uh, those are your Ruskin and Zach X polls brought to you by Unlimited Heat and Air in Springdale, 479-225-8809. All right, this is going to be in the weeds, but it's not going to last all that long. So I think you you can manage it. All right, hang with us here, okay? Uh, you need to uh, be on the lookout for your Joe Castiglione, all right? I'm sorry, what? You need to you need to, you need to keep an eye on him. Why? Okay, Mike Gorman, uh huh, Celtics announcer retiring. Right. Moments ago. Uh, Bruins announcer, Jack Edwards. Oh, yeah. He's retiring. Yeah, I saw that. Um, Keep an eye on Joe Castiglione, who, for the, you don't know, is the voice of the Red Sox forever. Well, he may retire. I mean, it's not going to be OB. If He's you're good. a Boston fan, like, two of your teams are going to have new voices next year. That's going to be weird. It's going to be weird. Mike Gorman's done Celtics games for, like, 40 uh, years or something. Castiglione is not somebody who... Who I mean, he's still fairly young. He's I mean, he and OB do the baseball. Dave O'Brien can do basketball. That might be. I mean, that that would be an easy transition. Joe Castiglione is seventy-seven. Oh no, <laughs> I could lose Joe Castiglione. They could lose three of the play play-by-play voices of New well, England. These things come in threes. Yeah. Well, wow. maybe Sterling's the other one. Can't lose Castiglione. I need he it, look. If I got to sit here and watch this. He's got to sit here and watch. Well, this. he's been watching it for a long time. Well, well, no, I mean this. Whatever they're doing now. If I got to sit here, you got to sit here. Hang on to your local play-by-play man. They are yeah, uh, getting out right. of the game all of a sudden here. What is going on? Jack Edwards has been doing uh, the Bruins for, for a while. 19 years. Yeah, they said, it's been yeah, a while. On on also on uh, Nesson. Guys, I the... think I'm getting into the hockey business. <laughs> I don't know. Dan Shoots and he scores. What's the blue line? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to ask him about that. The in, you know, we we floated the rumor that he was in line for the Alabama job. He didn't like that. So, oh yeah, they they, they kept that in house. Yeah, yeah they so kept that in house. We'll uh, float the r- rumor that he's going to the Bruins or the Celtics or the Seas. Yeah, yeah. They do the Celtics. Bean Town, baby. Oh, Larry Bird. That's right, Larry, Larry Legend. <laughs> oh yeah, I was watching some of those clips of it. So um, 
God, this is so in the there can't be anybody interested in this. Probably not. Okay. Um, it'll be over soon, I promise. Um how many times never mind. Stop. God, um, that was boring. Thank you. Yes. Um <laughs> saved by Big Mike. <laughs> yeah. Um so I'm what so Gorman did the games forever with Tommy Heinsohn. Yes. He died a few years ago. Yes. And Tommy Heinsohn like hated every referee of all time. That is correct. So all of the clips of them together are just like Tommy Heinz yelling about how stupid mm-hmm. the refs are. Yeah. Yeah, that was his shtick, though. Yeah. Now, he didn't do that on the uh, the CBS uh, broadcast. He didn't gripe about the referees. But, uh, yeah, on the... No, uh, no, but on, uh, on, on, on Celtics, yeah, on the, yeah, yeah. On Sports Channel, he absolutely did. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, so that's what you get off your chest? Well, that was yeah, that's part of it. Yeah. God, that was boring. Right. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, I heard another story about John Sterling real quick. Because, you know, he did the big whole Yankees win, the Yankees win. And someone asked him about that one time. He's like, he's like, uh, or I think Michael Kay asked him about it. And he said, you know what, kid? If you give them good news, they'll love you forever. If you give them bad Hello. news, they'll turn on you. Mm-hmm. And that, that was the deal. Okay. Give them good news. All right. Well, this... uh this check on my senility has not gone well, and uh, we'll be back with the uh, drive home coming up after these words. This is Ruskin and Zach. Condolences! The bums lost! My advice to you is to do what your parents did! Get a job, sir! ESPN Arkansas and streaming on HitThatLine.com Call or text the McCarty Daniel hotline to join the local conversation on ESPN Arkansas. 866-285-4005. McCarty Daniel has a vehicle to fit both your style and budget. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, you're never too far from a good deal. Visit McCartyDaniel.com to find your next ride. Find your next ride with McCarty Daniel at a price you'll love. Join the conversation on ESPN Arkansas at 866-285-4005. It's a good day to be in Arkansas. You know why? The lotto jackpot is now more than $1.5 million. And the best part? The winning ticket can only be sold in Arkansas. Maybe today. Maybe even to you. Can you imagine? There's a jackpot drawing every Wednesday and Saturday night. So your next chance to win is coming up very soon. Try lotto today for only 2 bucks per play. Call 1-800-522-4700 for problem gambling helpline. Welcome to Lighthouse Financial, where they understand your financial life is more than a rate of return. With over 60 years of combined experience, the Lighthouse Financial team of experts look to help reduce the amount of taxes you'll pay during your retirement years. If your current advisor isn't incorporating taxes into your retirement planning, then give Lighthouse Financial a call at 479-696-8234. That's 479-696-8234 or online at lhfinancial.net. Hey y'all, it's Melinda at Fantasy Sports Pets. You know, Fayetteville's hair joint for men. Did you know your haircut can accentuate features about your face you may not like? That's why you need Fantasy Sports Pets. We'll work with you to create the perfect look for you. If your current barber isn't cutting it, come see us at Fantasy Sports Pets. We'll have you leaving feeling like a winner. And we all like winners. Book your appointment today at Fantasy Sports Pets, where the winning look can be found. Fantasy Sports Pets, Fayetteville's hair joint for men and your little men in training at Mission and Crossover in the Heart Shopping Center. We'll see y'all there. Needing an electrician? Call the pros at Mr. Sparky. All of our certified electricians provide five-star electrical work. If you have problems with an outlet, or fuse, ceiling fan, need a panel replacement, or even a safety check, we've got you covered. Day or night, 24-7. And all of our work is 100% guaranteed. You can trust your electrical work with Mr. Sparky. You don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call 888-8-SPARKY. Looking for a new home in the heart of Northwest Arkansas? Head to the Cottage at the Park. These beautiful homes by Buffington have direct access to a 120-acre park and offer maintenance-free yards. That means free time can be spent watching the hogs, traveling, playing in the park, or just enjoying a weekend without yard work. For relaxed living at its finest, Cottage at the Park is the best move you'll make. Visit BuffingtonHomesAR.com slash hogradio for details. The future of medicine is here at QC Kinetics. Hi, Tommy Kraft here for QC Kinetics, the nation's leader in the most exciting revolution in pain management we've seen in decades. Regenerative medicine. If you're tired of achy joints, if your joint pain is keeping you from doing what you love, you need to call QC Kinetics right now. 
regenerative medicine at QC Kinetics is transforming lives with innovative treatments that deliver lasting results. We're talking natural biologics, using your body's power to repair and restore damaged tissue. Call QC Kinetics now to learn more about exciting options. This is a revolutionary approach that can get you long-term relief with no downtime, no drugs, and no surgery. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation, 479-999-1234, 479-999-1234, 999-1234 for QC Kinetics. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. ESPN 99.5. We don't care if you love them or you hate them. All we ask is that you keep listening. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. Ugh. Indeed. Thank you. <laughs> I can't figure it out. What? No, I'll tell you in a second. Here. It's okay. 21 till the hour. Uh, we're going to hear from Peter in Australia next hour about what's gone wrong, wrong with this. Um, um, his, uh, he's a bad hand. Aussie rules yeah. football yeah. Uh, season. That he the gave Adelaide us, Crows are he, one and four. He gave us an ironclad lock, and uh, you know, we're all losing our he shirts also, over he here. Told so. me, and he gave me coach speak this morning. He told me it's a long season. I'm like, oh, oh stop it. Yeah. You sound like these people out yeah. here. You know what I mean? Give him time. He'll figure it out. All right, your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. Need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle. Bum, bum, or bum, just bum, use this one. Woo. You don't have to put up with any malarkey called 888 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. Dan Marino should die of gonorrhea and rot in hell. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Look, another player has rung the bell. That means he did his personal best. I had a fun time at the game. <gasps> oh, look at that. No. It was a great experience. Didn't Arkansas lose? Well, besides that, whoop pig. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> I have another thing I don't like about this uh, visual uh, component of the show. Don't do that. Yes. The TV audience is fickle. What? Okay. Yesterday, mm. we did nothing. Right. A lot less people watch than are watching today. And okay. we're also doing nothing. You're too fickle. You know, the radio audience doesn't work this way. They're always with us. Winter tie. Well, with these visual people, man, they're, they're, they're like, uh, you know, well, do better. That's know, what I say. Uh, some of them, maybe it works. Some do better. Them, some of them may be incarcerated and not near their phone or Internet. It happens. We had terrible. I can see how many people are watching us uh -huh. in real time, which is. Great and terrible all at the same time. Um, but um, you know, yesterday wasn't uh, our best day, and we did nothing. And today we've done less, and there's more people. I, I can't I would, figure this out. I would disagree with we've done less. I think we've done about the same. We've talked about the yeah. WNBA and soccer, and more people are watching. That's fair. Yeah, we that. <laughs> and, and we gave a detailed analysis on the NBA playoffs. We could not do a less... Arkansas friendly program than the one we have done today. Because and is yet, that possible? People are watching it. I don't understand. Can't well, figure it I out. I can see the numbers too. Yeah. And I I thought yesterday's lack of viewers was weird. Was weird. It was it was like embarrassingly low. It really was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But for no reason. It just wasn't they just weren't there. Yeah. Like there wasn't a real reason. 
I am so glad I am not brought down by all of this. No, no, you're up on your high horse. No, I just think it's dumb, and I don't want to do it. Ooh, big yep. news. Yeah, what do we got? Big news I just saw. Uh, Omar Ballo uh-huh. has committed to Indiana, according oh, to ESPN. What happened to all of the experts that told me that this was the guy to watch and that Arkansas was going to land this guy? Seven-footer, yeah. uh, Ballo. Now, the update on him today was he was canceling a visit to Louisville. Mm-hmm. Um, but they, I just saw this on the uh, on the bottom line here on uh, on ESPN that he is committed to Indiana. Okay, and Mike Woodson. Wow, okay. that is uh, that is something. How about that? Uh, Abner points out having a listener call in from uh, what was the largest penal colony in the world is right on brand for us. That's fair. That's right. Yeah, Australia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, I hear somebody saying we've upset the YouTube algorithm overlords. Probably, yeah. And that's also probably true. Yeah, Balo, uh, seven-footer, uh, leaving Arizona. He's confirmed it on his social media. He's an Indiana ah, loser. Now we're getting some uh, some information out of Bloomington. Uh, according to this, he did not have the heart of a Razorback, so they did not want him. First one that got away from John Calipari. Well, we don't even know that he was on the uh, on the list. It was just a bunch of people. With so the all Twitter these messages where people were wrong? Let's just say it's happened recently. Yes, it's very, very possible. Maybe they just need one seven footer. They don't need two. Oh no, no. or okay. three if they, Bay Fall comes back. It'd be the biggest front line in basketball. I put out five seven footers. Yeah. Just that's, run with it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let's mm. uh, see here. Um, uh, yeah, so that's uh, that's uh, relevance to your uh, life and well being. Is uh, that's a uh, now, I, now the spin will already be well. You know, Cal didn't want him anyway, so you know that'll that'll sure that'll be what you say to you know help your feelings at night. Yeah, but sure. text of the four seven nine. Well, that's it. Cal's washed up. And we're screwed. <laughs> that's right. that's right. right. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, everybody react to that. Um, so I don't know. I mean, you know, that's just uh, I thought that was the way that the way that my day went was like this with with this story is um, I'm sitting here. And I see that he's not going to visit Louisville and that the people who cover this are saying, well, he wants to visit Arkansas instead. And then I sit here in real time and I'm like, he's committing to Indiana. So somebody had some bad intel on this. Clearly. Well, anybody, well, this may be just our, our previous conditioning that anybody who jumped into the portal, Eric Musselman was going to contact. So um, this may be may uh, oh I, we does, need to be deprogrammed. Calipari doesn't tell you who he's talking to. Yeah, but I thought that they could um be in the running for uh, some places had him as the best guy in the portal. Maybe regardless, maybe and um you know that's um possibly some uh, rumors about his asking price being well that shouldn't be more, an issue now. Well, I mean that's what that, I was told. We got that chicken money yeah, out yeah, there. Yeah, that's I mean, what I was there? told. If if this is. If now suddenly we're backing off of NIL stuff because people are too pricey, we got a problem. We're back in the same boat. Yeah. Yeah. Here's a text on the McCarty New Hotline. I love my hogs, but who cares about their heart? We need a roster of guys who can rebound, play defense, and shoot 40%. Okay. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm on board with that. Yeah. Great. Right. Uh, all right. Well, you know, I just uh, thought I'd pass that along because uh, most people will be in three months. Whatever happened to that guy? He went to Indiana. Oh, yeah. 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 But you've got, but now a, they've a, got if if Kalel Ware is still up there, they've got two seven footers now. Is he still in? Is he still in college? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, they, they got uh, the Matt, front. Matt and Rogers say it says, it says the uh, same thing. Uh, Mike Woodson will screw it up. Oh no, they're not going to the tournament. He's I mean, still the coach there. Yeah. Oh yeah, they kept him. Yep, they kept him. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, now they've got two seven footers. You have one yeah. player on your roster. They've got two seven footers. The Hoosiers. Yeah. Maybe they're going to make a run next year. I, I doubt it. Yeah. Uh, here's a text. This one's on me. I forgot to give my three dollars to the NIL fund. <laughs> See if you'd have given five. I mean, maybe this would have happened. But uh, Andrew Lowell wondering if there's a third Mitchell brother out there. Oh uh, come on, Andrew. That kid busted his butt for you. Well, Both of them did. Yeah, they did. Come on. Hey, the the, the and I was it, Mikel went down to uh, Little Rock. He was second team uh, all conference. Yeah, and they uh, it's so tough in those leagues. They should have been in the tournament, but they didn't win their conference tournament, and then they're out. It was just, it's it's a it's a crappy existence. But you know, it's, it's the system. Uh, here's that works. Uh, four seven nine. We announced our nil like a person walking into a car dealership saying how much money you have to spend. <laughs> Don't check the credit report, but hey, I got I got I got, 
I can spend five hundred a month. Oh wow! Well. well, you know, it's uh it's uh you know, it is what it is. Uh, Sheldon wants Vanover back. Oh wait! I believe he's out of eligibility no. now. He no, has to be no. But he no, has to be no Sheldon. No Sheldon. He's been in college nine years. No, he's just got one left. I think I, I don't, and he's in Missouri. So I mean, that's that's a wasteland as far as basketball goes. I wouldn't worry. Well, about. it was last year. They uh, they won as many games as we did. You and I, with they zero. Were per- they were perfect last year. They were perfect. You got to spin this thing in the right direction. You know, Dennis Gates did not mess that up. No. And if it weren't for everybody caring about football now, um, he'd be fired. But they don't care about basketball anymore. They All care they about care about is football. Right. It's drinks world. And they certainly don't care about college baseball up there. Which, by the way, uh, on your, uh, you know, on the uh, the people who are, uh, well, we, we we get these texts a lot here uh, in the last half hour. Well, without Caitlin Clark, what kind of ratings they're going to get? Probably still higher than college baseball. Nationally. Mm, yeah. Yeah. I mean, do we want, do we want to go down this road? <laughs> I don't think so. All right. Just because you don't like it doesn't mean everybody doesn't like it, okay? See, we live in these little worlds that we create for ourselves, and we think everybody feels the way we feel. That's not the way it is. You know, some people out there actually like broccoli, believe it or not. I can't, I, I don't understand. Identify. I, I don't Who understand. Who likes broccoli? Right. I want to know. If you're one of these broccoli heads, you have a problem. Listen. Nobody uh, eats broccoli voluntarily. You and I are the biggest elitist around here, believe it or not, people still watch wrestling. Can you believe that? Listen to me. I don't feel like I'm an elitist. I feel like I'm a, a person that is willing to have a conversation with other people on my time. Uh-huh. Occasionally. Okay. I don't want to, like, you know, but not not a lot of words exchange. I, you know, mm-hmm. there were people watching wrestling, people that I uh, I respect uh, mm-hmm. watching wrestling uh, two weekends ago. Mm-hmm. Not yeah. me. I mean, just just don't, like, We've got too much other stuff to go going on in this place to be spending any amount of oxygen caring about what other people watch and why you don't like it. Who cares? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who cares? I watch documentaries and old movies. Neither of these two do. It, it doesn't matter. Honestly, it does not matter. Okay, it really doesn't. Well, your obsession with stupid documentaries. They're not stupid. They're I stupid. learned stuff. I like them. I like them. What's the last documentary you watched? They did one on CNN about Las Vegas that I liked. Okay, that's that's fine. Like in each, they did each episode like in each era, like you know the okay. the mobster right. era, like the, they the Rat one, Pack era. They they had a good one on Sunday night about the uh, the final flight of the uh, space shuttle. Columbia. I wanted to see that. That's, that's I actually, didn't that was actually that, pretty yeah. good. Miles sure. O'Brien on that one. Yeah, right. Yeah, Miles O'Brien. Yeah, yep. anchor and all that stuff. Um, but the point is, um, you know, um. It's just like I I don't know this. It's, I I don't like this discussion about well what about when she doesn't play well so what? Not everybody likes what you like. No, it's okay, and that's okay. Like we don't have to all watch the same stuff all the time. Red of Batesville says the way I feel is correct. Everyone else needs to change. Now that sounds like you. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like it sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, it does sound like you. Okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't think that sounds like me at all. I I just I I'm know. willing to listen to certain opinions that I'm willing to put up with. I'm betting the Caitlin Clark games will outdraw every college World Series game this year in the period. WNBA. Yeah, probably. Period. Right. So just settle down with the uh, well. Nobody's watching. Well, is anybody watching your little niche sport either? Nationally, not Watch really. What makes you happy? Exactly. Watch That's the point. I, I don't care. That's Watch the point. I'm happy. Do whatever you want. Right. If they put it on TV, you, you want to watch it. Have a good time. You want to watch Ole Miss and Mississippi State play baseball? Get after it. I'm not going to do it, but you can. If you want to watch Although, spring football, ugh. this man is going to watch spring football on I Saturday. I am. Get after it. I am I'm not doing do it. it. But you go right ahead. And that's okay. We I'm can still gonna, be friends. I, actually, I'm getting. I'm going to watch the draft on Thursday. Which draft? Uh, the oh, the Blue the, Gold draft. Oh, I'm going to watch the entire draft. And that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be watching We're, it right in here. Oh, we have a theory uh, from mm, Missouri here. Okay. Your drive home powered by Mr. Sparky here on Ruskin and Zach. Uh, numbers down yesterday, first day of turkey hunting. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't know we were big with the hunters. Did you? 
DQ? I didn't know that. I, I that's new to me. I didn't know that it was. I didn't know turkey season was in the spring. Uh, Eric with a good point here. Uh, so what I'm hearing is we don't have to all like the same things on TV, but we all have to like the same foods. Listen, Eric, let me explain to you how this works. All right. There's no script here. I'm pulling these analogies out of my ass. All right. I don't know. I can't go back and, and make it perfect. It's just it, hey. we go on because it's 452, not because we're ready. All right. That's that's what you live is. your truth. Don't bring it to me. Huh. Okay. We'll all go to our corners and everybody be happy. Right. Exactly. Right. Stone broccoli, you freaks. Or tofu, for God's sakes. What are you doing? Well, the one time you had tofu, you it got was, a, it was one, one of the say. biggest mistakes of my life. It looked like grilled mm. chicken to me. It was all a lie. It, it was all a lie. It was in this cube. Yeah. It was kind of orangey looking, mm -hmm. like, like it had right. been seasoned grilled chicken. But it wasn't? No. It was like eating a foam peanut. I hated it. I hated every <laughs> second of it. I couldn't take a. I couldn't drink a beer fast enough to get to get, get the that taste out, out of my mouth. mouth. Yeah. To feel manly again. To feel whole again. You know what I mean? I understand. Yeah. They tricked me. They tricked me. They got me to think it was chicken. It was not chicken. No, no, no. Well, that you was were, you were still, that was not grilled uh, you were chicken. Still buzzing after uh, after saving a child. I think that was before the was uh, the assist. Okay, so we really have no excuse as to why you. That was the hockey the assist. Uh, yeah, but yeah, well, you were the third guy on the assist. Uh, let's see. Boy, the portal. Had, I, I was looking at this thing today. I've yeah. been just hitting refresh on this thing. There were 90 guys last year that jumped in the portal on day one. They had 90 guys in the portal by 9 a.m. And, and, and Yeah, today. And it just keeps going up and up and up. And, and I'll be honest with you. None of these guys are. None of these guys are changing the uh, trajectory of any program. Not one of them. Isn't that something? Like, this feels like. I don't feel like there's any big difference makers that are moving along right now. Not yet. Not yet. Maybe that's coming. I don't know. Hey, Twin Peaks and Rogers is a place to go to uh, watch the uh, the playoff action coming up in the next uh, few weeks. Basketball, hockey. Uh, don't forget, uh, National Munchies Day is on April 20th. Grab a liquid marijuana shot for $6. Or, uh, it's what it says here. $8. They got all this good stuff. 29 degree draft beer. Twin Peaks. Rogers. Check them out. I'm Allison Wise in the 4029 newsroom. If you're an experienced fighter jet mechanic or an expert in aircraft support, Lockheed Martin might have a job for you. This is part of the foreign military pilot training mission that's coming to the Air National Guard base in the River Valley. Today, they held a career fair. A spokesperson says they interviewed more than 300 people, but there are more job openings. You can go to 4029tv.com for more details. And we have new details in the case involving a four-year-old who was killed in Worcester, Oklahoma. Police say the 18-year-old driver had nearly doubled the alcohol limit. Miguel Reyes is now at the LaFleur County Detention Center. A report from Highway Patrol says that Reyes crashed into a home on Sunday afternoon where the child was playing on the porch. Those are your headlines. I'm Allison Wise in the 4029 Newsroom. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Lindbergh team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Lindbergh Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the River Valley. Find out more at LindberghTeam.com. L-I-M. B-I-R-D. Trash. We've all got it. Cards Recycling specializes in affordable residential and commercial trash pickup. Operated with customers in mind, Cards takes the job out of your hands. Remodeling your house? Cards has temporary roll-offs for cleanouts, construction, and much, much more. Eat a porta potty They've got that, too. Cards is the exclusive provider of solid waste and recycling services for the University of Arkansas. If you're looking for industry-leading service standards, call 877-59-CARDS or online at cardsrecycling.com. Cards Recycling is the official residential and recycling company of the Ruskin and Zach Show. 
Welcome to McLarty Daniel Country. With six giant locations and over 3,000 vehicles, Northwest Arkansas is McLarty Daniel Country. Stop by one of our showrooms today to shop our full lineup of cars, trucks, and SUVs. McLarty Daniel is proud to be your premier automotive destination. Need service? We work on all makes and models six days a week. Plus, our full-service collision center can repair anything from a minor ding to a major collision. Have you visited McLarty Daniel Country? Visit us online at McLartyDaniel.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, your favorite drafts are poured at a frosty 29 degrees, and rare barrel-aged whiskeys are served just the way you want them. It's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Twin Peaks is always adding exciting cocktails to the menu, like the expertly balanced Sincoro Hall of Fame Margarita. Try it at your local lodge today. Hey, it's Phil Elson. Former Hog James Teague is back for another season on Halftime. Teague Law Firm has an excellent reputation, winning the Best of Northwest Arkansas Award six times. James and his father, Robert, will help you with all family law matters, including guardianships, adoption, and child support. They'll help with criminal law, ranging anywhere from felonies to traffic offenses, DWIs, and more. Call James and the Teague Law Firm at 479-877-1688 or visit teague-law.com. The Teague Law Firm, if they can't help you, they'll talk baseball. Courtney Hollingsworth Auto Body, family owned and operated for over 40 years, is your collision repair specialist. Only 15% of collision repair shops achieve iCar Gold Class status, the highest training level recognized in the industry. Courtney Hollingsworth is proud to be one of them. Put your vehicle repairs in the hands of the experts. Call Courtney Hollingsworth Auto Body today at 479 751 3801. That's 751 3801. And online at CourtneyHollingsworth.com. Your one-stop shop for everything golf. Golf USA in Fayetteville. The best selection, the biggest brands. Titleist, Callaway, Pink, TaylorMade, Mizuno, PXG. Great golf apparel by Travis Matthew. FootJoy, Adidas, Nike, Bad Birdie, and William Murray. And Golf USA has been a Golf Digest top fitter six years in a row. They have full club repair and two hitting bays for custom fittings and indoor play. We are as golf as it gets at Golf USA. 3184 North College in Fayetteville. Your home is your biggest asset, so when you decide to add a sunroom, a patio cover, a new driveway, or new windows, you need to call a company you can trust. Sawyers has been part of your community for over 30 years. They're insured, licensed, and have 100% financing for all of their products. Take all the worry out of your next project. Call Sawyers and let them handle it from permitting to completion. Sawyers, serving the River Valley in Northwest Arkansas with a full showroom located in Fort Smith or online at sawyers-sunrooms.com. AAKS Goshen Fayetteville, K237GR Johnson. This is ESPN Northwest Arkansas. Broadcasting live from the Cards Recycling Studio. Cards is the official residential, commercial, and recycling waste collection service of the Ruskin and Zach Show. ESPN Arkansas presents Derek Ruskin. Have we got a stadium? Yes. Have we got a college? Yes. Well, we can't support both. Tomorrow we start tearing down the college. And Zach Arns. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I miss you. With DQ. Just going to go have fun. No one out there that I know of in the audience actively hates me. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline 866-285-4005. With six locations in Springdale and Bentonville, a good deal is never far away. Way. Ruskin and Zach. But if they hate him, why do they listen? Most common answer. I want to see what he'll say next. This is Ruskin and Zach on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. All right, we're Probably back. Four. Uh, yes, thank you, uh, Big Five. <laughs> Uh, eight six six two eight five four zero zero five is how you can reach us here on the McLaurin Hotline. Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky. You need a licensed electrician to service your home? Give us a jingle, or just use this one. You, you don't have to put up with any malarkey. Call eight 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 Sparky. For local pros, call eight 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 Sparky. For local pros, call Mr. Sparky. I wouldn't share a toothbrush with just anybody. <laughs> From Havana. <laughs> all right uh let's see here uh what's going on and text send us a text we miss you 866-285-4005 you can say i 
Baseball coming up in a couple of hours out at mm-hmm. the Bomb Walker. Uh, radio pregame at 6.30 with Phil and Bubba. And then uh, 7 o'clock, uh, first pitch or thereabouts. On, well, you got to give TV a minute to get warmed up. So 7.05 for the first pitch. On the deuce. Uh, it is on the deuce, yes. Ben Bybee starts for Arkansas. These midweek games are so strange. Because, like, you want to win, but you also know that it's more important that you win on the weekend. So you're not, like, you're not pitching. Now ben Bybee's really good, but uh, well, no, you know, you're not walking a front line starter out no, there. You're not on bringing the Hagen night. Smith yeah. in on three days rest Absolutely to, to win not. the Texas Tech game or whatever. Um, so it, it's strange. But on the outside, the expectation is win everything, and if you lose, we're mad. So they don't under they don't care that you're mixing and matching different things no. or w- what what people you use. They just want to see Arkansas have more runs than the other team. By any means necessary, mm-hmm. and if they don't see that, they're going to be mad. So yeah, we were getting it's a, some... it's a real it's it's, un, it's an unusual. I don't think there's anything else like this in sports. We were getting some questions about uh, weather. Weather's going to be nice tonight. Is it? Uh, yeah, it's going to be low seventies. You know, know, high sixties, low seventies. This weather the Clear. last two days has been weird. Well, it's, it's they've gonna... been calling for tornadoes and hail, and and nothing's really happened. I mean, there's been a couple things, but not you know, it's not really materialized as much as they thought. That is. But, uh, uh, that that is that know. is where we are. Yeah, the next uh, weather thing is Thursday, and the team will be you know on their way to South Carolina by then yep. for Friday's uh, matchup. Is there anything else like this in sports where these the like a midweek college baseball game where it's just like you know you got to do it, but it's not it's regular season, so it's not preseason, so it does count, but. You can't devote your top resources to no, getting they, the win all the time. They're going to play these two games. I think they got UAPB next week, and then they're done. They, they don't play, have midweek games uh, the rest of the way. I think the season ends the 18th. Does that sound right? They've got they've got Missouri State. Okay, some, Missouri State. That, that's right. Too, that's start right. of April. Uh, but then, you know, Zach, they go to class. They've got finals. No, they don't. <laughs> Shador Sanders went to class the other day, didn't bring any books or supplies, and just went on Instagram Live. That's what I'm telling you. The sooner we can get to collective bargaining and employees, college football will get way better. I'm just telling you. Because everybody will be on a somewhat they level will playing find field. find another way Salary to caps. Bend, and bend the rules and cheat. Well, yeah, because there's no one enforcing it. They've been any doing it stuff. for 100 years. You put a rule in, they yeah. find a way around Oh, that's it. right. Yeah, but there's no one, and, and there's no one enforcing any of this. No. Um, oh, oh, by the way, the University of Michigan is apparently in trouble with the NCAA. I don't um, they, what are they going to do? But, I mean, in the in the big surprise, like, nobody's shocked that Michigan broke all these rules uh, on, the, on the way to a national title. It's, I don't even know what that means anymore. It doesn't mean anything. Exactly. I mean, in the record books, it'll mean something, but it doesn't mean anything. Right. Uh, they will be stripped of their national title. and you know, Can the be- NCAA strip a college football playoff national title? Yes. How? But they don't, they don't, they they don't they, award it. Like the like when you go to a uh, a party, you just don't recognize it. That's happened to me. <laughs> um, I'm not recognized. Your dad points out that we shouldn't talk about the NCAA. The recruits are listening. Oh, good God! Yeah. Well, you know you got to. I am I am in favor of breaking all the NCAA rules. I don't think their rules are uh will hold up will hold up in any court of law. So I'd say do whatever you want. That's been my position well, for years it, now. I mean, for record keeping and and the the record book, they have control over that. They just don't have the the ability to enforce anything. Now they can go. Well, you you're not in our cool little book. That's about all they can. You're do. not in our cool little book. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's pretty much all you can do. The, the, their punishment now is like in first grade when you would say, "Well, you're not my friend anymore." Let okay. Me, <laughs> let me ask you this: Was was college athletics better when the NCAA had control of it, or now? You mean like pre eighty four? I'm talking about four or five years ago. Was it better then, or is it better now? Better for who? Me? The consumer? The consumer. See, the, here's why that's tricky. I'm not trying to cop out on you. I'm just trying to... The sport's never been more popular than it is right now. Popular? I didn't ask about popularity. But it is a hot mess I, at the same asked, time. Was it better then? Was it better, was it better in 2014 or 2024? The answer is 2014. It was a better product, but it was worse for the players. They okay. were getting screwed. But I didn't ask you that. I asked okay. for the consumer. What well, was what was better? It's 
I, I, I hear what you're saying, but there are a lot of consumers that like the product now because it's, you know, it's it, a lot of people, more people watch it now than they did 10 years ago. In 20, we may not like it, in but some people do. I wasn't asked to fund it. Okay. Well, that is different. Yes. Okay. I, I, in when, that, in that perspective, it is. When worse. I turned on my TV on Saturday, I generally knew who was on my team week to week. Okay, that is different. Yes. The sport was better 10 years ago. And 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 I hate saying that, but, but I, I'm I'm to the point with it. But the where business it, is good now. The business was good then. Yes, it was. But it, but like, I mean, the business and the business was good then, and you were just getting into the college football playoff era back yeah. in 2014. You were heading into the first year of the playoff. Remember that first that first year of the playoff down in Dallas when um uh, what's his name uh, Ezekiel Elliott ran all over Alabama. And then uh, you had who did Ohio State beat? They had Marcus Mariota uh, played. They played Oregon for the national title, and, and it was not, it, two great semifinal games. Sport was, I mean, college football hit its peak in the last, in this in in the first quarter century of this century in that year. Since then, it has just well. I don't. I don't know. I, I there. I don't know because I mean it is popular now, and it does. I mean, there's a lot of more, there's a lot of viewers now, um, and there were there were viewers then too. But I feel like there's more viewers now. Um, it's I tell you what, it, it's like it's like your family member that can't get their act together. You just can't stop caring. You you're just you just you just want to know if it's ever going to work out. You keep coming person. back to the same thing, which means, and you keep saying, "Well, there's more viewers. It's more available now." Yes. But the sport, as uh, college athletics as a whole, was better ten years ago when somebody was running it. Somebody had control of it. Now it is a complete free for all. And if you're not one of the haves, you have not. But it wasn't better for the players ten years. ago. I didn't ask that. I asked for the consumer, for right? The, for for the people who are being asked well, to yes. fund it. Was it better then, or is, is was it better? Is it better now? I I don't know. I don't know. I hate it now. I, I really do. And, and I'm growing more and more frustrated with it. The things that we see, and not the stuff we see on Saturdays or Sundays or Tuesdays, the games themselves are great. Always have been, always will be. It's the stuff in between that I just, I am so tired of it. I don't like, well, I, I mean, I don't like the, uh, I, I've, I've been pretty clear that I don't like that you're uh, you're bullying your fans by going well. If you don't pay, we're going to oh, lose. Yeah. Like I don't think that's fair. You uh, put the onus on them. But I mean, until they make the system where they can start using uh, foundation money to pay NIL and make them employees, I mean that's that's going to be the way that they proceed. I uh, I I understand. I I believe so. I mean, um, and I just I don't like the fact that um like. They were making billions, mm -hmm. and and the, and all the players got was the value of a scholarship, and that was oh, it was now, completely now, unfair. Now, that's not that's not accurate. The system was completely unfair. The, the, were they getting millions? No, but the, here's were, what you can't say though. Today, it's far better for the players than it was ten years ago. Absolutely, a hundred percent. Okay, you can't argue uh, that. Absolutely, it is a better system for the players now. Yes, it is not. They are I, in control. I believe that there will be in the next. 10 years if they don't if they don't course correct you're going to see a fatigue with college athletics where you don't know who the guys are on the roster anymore you, and you're just all you keep hearing about is money because what's the one thing we don't want to hear about money it's yeah. it's exhausting and this constant handout give me what you can is going to have a it has a an effect but see i think that there there is an element of this it well, obviously wasn't the way it is now but I think there's been an element of this all along, and we just didn't know about it. And okay. now we know too okay. much, so, and we can't we can't put the toothpaste so back I, I'll, in the tube. I'll give you an example. And and I was talking to somebody, I was texting with somebody the other day about this. I finally gave up my Notre Dame season tickets. They finally priced me out of it. The last two years, I've seen my tickets go almost well triple in, in cost, and it just has to do with they need more NIL money. You have to make simply to Notre Dame does it differently, but you there's an entrance fee which is four thousand dollars. Then there is this nineteen hundred dollar donation to the fund which is their collective which you don't you have no 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 uh say in whether or not you're given that fifty nine hundred dollars just to play and then you're charged 175 per ticket for whatever you know for whatever game they finally said and I've, I've had them since 1997 
And I finally was, I can't do this anymore. I'm not doing this anymore. I can sit on my couch and watch it for free. That to I, me, I, and, and I'm a lifelong college football fan. And, and I and I refuse to go anymore. It's just, it it, it has worn me out. Well, um, I mean, it is, it is, uh, it's, we're going through some growing pains for sure. And, uh, I don't know if anybody is the, the thing that's been most disappointing to me because I don't mind the players, uh, getting, you know, I don't getting to do, you know, uh, you know, car commercials or, or, uh, social media influence and stuff and, and, you know, going and signing autographs at banks. None of that stuff bothers me. I, I, that's fine. Uh, and, and it's, it should be because they're the stars of the sport, not the coaches. They are, uh, they're the ones out there doing all the work. Um, but the thing that is that is really soured me is there's just nobody in charge of any of this. That's what I was getting Greg at. Greg Sankey's not in charge. Ew. Hunter, you're a ch- nobody's in charge. But that's what it's I was just, getting at. Was at least with the NCAA, and you had some semblance of there. There were rules, and there is zero. Um, it's all totally tribal. There is zero um, connectivity in terms of hey, we're all in this together. You know. The uh, the reason the AFL forced a merger in the '60s because when they got in, they were all in it together. The the Fools Club with Ralph Wilson and Lamar Hunt and you know Bud Adams and all those people. But they were all they all stuck together. Yep, bunch of rich guys who had their own agendas, but they stuck together and and it ended up uh, you know working out. Um, there's no one, there, there, there's none of that. It's how do I get my team yep. screw the rest of you? Yep. Which is again why I don't understand why people root for the conference because no one in the conference is rooting for you. So it doesn't make any well, sense. Well, Sankey is. Sankey wants the, the college football playoff to be 14 of the 16 SEC teams and nobody else. No. And, and you know, the Big Ten's the same way. I mean, all the leagues are the same. There's nobody looking out for the sport of college football or college basketball or, or college baseball or whatever. So at least 10 years ago, you had some semblance of a hierarchy. Yeah, there's no one. Uh, there's no one. You know, say what you want about uh, about the uh, the pro football league, but you have people looking out for the business side. Uh-huh. And then you have a players association looking out for the players. Yeah. So there are people minding the store. There's no one looking out for these players. No. You could get terrible intel uh, and have a, a, a sweet situation at a division one school. And uh, you, they, they tell you to go in the portal, you go in the portal. You end up at big niece. Like you're, yeah. you're done. It, your career's over. Now, now to be fair, I, I read a sentence today, a lead on a story that I read online that, that, shook me to my core and I'm sort of out on college athletics and it was about a Villanova guard who was uh, going into the portal according to his agent. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, jeez. This is, this is welcome to are. the world. Yeah, welcome. Welcome in. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the world. At it's, least in uh, the NFL, I know what, who's in charge of what the rules are. Right. In, in NBA, same thing. I think that um, I think that if they could put some guardrails in, I think it would win over people. What, like what does you. the NFL want? They want parity. They want every franchise to have an equal opportunity to win. College football, college athletics is not like that at all. Even within a conference, no, the conference wants five or six teams to compete. You got to have a you know two or three in the middle class, and then there's everybody else. And at at the schools, um, the schools want their team to win, and they don't care about the other thirteen Correct. teams. They they could go pound sand. They That's don't right. care. They don't. They, nobody is interested in the collective good. They no. can say they are. They're not. There's no camaraderie. There's no um um. What's that word where it's just like, you know, we're all we're all, you know, if if together we're better than we are apart. You know what I mean? Like the SEC as 14 teams is a product that is obviously very profitable and lucrative. They've got billion dollar contract mm-hmm. with ESPN for the rest of our lives. But and as an individual, is anybody going to is ESPN given a TV contract to this school? No, no. You'll be on Channel 7 on tape delay again. I mean, that's where <laughs> that's where you'd be. So, I mean, but nobody understands. Um, I don't know. Uh, make them all employees collectively bargain and let's get some let's get some structure back in this and uh, the players can win and the schools can have some sort of, uh, you know, uh, but if familiarity you, if with you. The, if you did that, you're going to have to hem the players in and they don't want that. They, they, they would have who are you negotiating with? You'd have to get a player's union together. Oh, these players have to join the union. Yeah, that's when, right. Yeah. At what point can they join the union? Is it when they graduate high school? Is it after their first year? It, there's so many. In our lifetime, we'll see a college football strike. Think about that. Oh, that'll be great. We're going to see that. Uh, they'll have a they'll see replacement players down here at no, Razorback you know, Stadium. They'll do, they'll do what they did out at Yale. They'll have a sit-in in their own game. Oh, they'll just go right. out and sit down. No, they'll get the uh, they'll get the intramural team to play for the Razorbacks because the uh, real Razorbacks are on strike. UAPDs dragging guys off the field in their full uniform. Yeah, it'd be great. <laughs> Your drive home is powered by Mr. Sparky here on 
Ruskin and Zach. Uh, let's see here. You can join us on the McClarty Young Hotline at 866-285-4005. Let me uh, mention here, uh, while I have a moment, the uh, Lindbergh team and their ability to help you get the deal done if you're looking to buy or sell a home. Just like David and Nancy did, they partnered with the Limber Real Estate Group to sell their home in Springdale. The team's unparalleled knowledge of the local real estate market and innovative marketing strategies generated significant interest in their property, over 20 showings in just one month. Limber Real Estate Group's expert negotiators work closely with potential buyers and close the sale swiftly. This uh, transaction, a testament to the unwavering commitment to delivering exceptional service for their clients, the Limbird Real Estate Group, the team I would trust if I was selling my home. And uh, the team that sold over $1 billion in real estate. Check out the home value estimator on limbirdteam.com. You go there, you click on home estimate, find out what your home is worth in seconds from the local experts at the Limbird Team. L I M B I R D. Limbirdteam.com. Limbirdteam.com or Google Limbird Real Estate Group to check out the over 900 five star reviews. Now, let me say one more thing here mm-hmm. about college football. Um, don't even spend any time with the Super League until the Big Ten and the SEC buy in. It is not going anywhere. That is not going anywhere. No. So don't even, we don't even think about it. Don't even worry about it. It's not, it's not happening until those two are on board, if they're ever on board. All right, we go to Australia now and uh, talk to uh, our man there, uh, Peter. Uh, hi, Peter. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. How you doing? Yes, good morning, guys. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning here. Just got in the car. And uh, there's nothing more scary than tuning into my favorite podcast that I listen to at 10.30 at night, and uh, I'm getting rebuffed by some guy called Scott. So, <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened? Yeah, what why, happened why, why, why are you so bad at this? Uh, look, for the start of the season, I just want to say, I said to take the line on uh, on the sun and to bet the house on the crows for the rest of the season. And uh, look, if you if you bet your house, um, enjoy the foreclosure <laughs> because <laughs> it hasn't gone well to begin with. However, we had a fantastic win on the weekend against uh, Carlton. Uh, a two-point win, and uh, I think it's all going to change this Friday night against uh, Essendon at Adelaide Oval, so we wait and see. But uh, at least there's hope at the end of the pipe, unlike uh, your football team, or our football team, really. Wow! Uh, now, Peter does a, a podcast for the Adelaide Crows. Uh, one in four to start the season. Are they, are they calling for the uh, the coach's head? Uh, after that first loss, they uh, re-signed the coach for another two years, so uh, that ain't going to happen. Okay. Okay. Um, however, look, we we basically, uh, I don't know if they use the term in the NFL, but tanking for uh, good uh, oh, yeah. draft picks in right. 20, oh, yeah. 2020. Yeah. Who, who's the number one and, pick? And uh, uh, number one pick uh, of that year was, his name was Riley Tilthorpe, uh, and Oh boy, oh boy, we have him now. Uh, however, it's all I can say is we we are rebuilding, but it's been genuinely. I think this year we're going to definitely make it to the finals or the playoffs. Um, it's still a long way in the season. So. One in four, man. I, I feel like you sell you sold us a bill of goods. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, deal with it. Okay, look, if you've lost your house and you're sleep, sleeping in a cardboard box, you know the weather's getting better there, so it is what it is. That's true. Uh, Can't so argue with that. Is, is spiders are everywhere in uh, in Australia right now. <laughs> well, they they're here all the time. They're here all the time. Nothing changes. Uh, I remember my wife when she first came here uh, in 2008. There was a ginormous huntsman that was the size of her hand that crawled across my car window oh, and the screen that she. Oh. Yeah, and I just said, I just said to her, "Oh, that's Larry," and uh, <laughs> you know she couldn't believe I named it. <laughs> Oh my god, that is a terrifying looking spider. Wow. Oh my god, that thing would eat a small child. No. Yeah. Oh good lord. Wow. Huh. Yeah. So uh So I guess uh I I need to know more about this Scott guy, because uh <laughs> I'm 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 scared. <laughs> yeah, Scott was Scott took your advice 
and uh, and lost yeah. and is currently living on the streets because of you. Uh, yeah. He's harboring no ill will. He's still got cell service, but uh, he has so, a nice underpass. Yeah, he's so, actually I mean, just... uh, hoping to get back in a in a solid non movable structure shortly. Yeah, great. Okay. Well, look, I've got a couple of bets. I've written notes for you guys. Um, I mean, I literally scrawled them down this morning while my toddler was running around my my ankles. Um, so, thank you for sending sending through the uh, the uh, odds for the bet, Sarah. You're welcome. Free plug for you guys. Uh, so, uh, I think Friday night or Thursday night, we've got uh, Brisbane playing Geelong. Uh, take uh, Brisbane at minus 195. Okay. I just want to say, you guys do weird betting structures there. When I read those things, I literally had to Google, what do American odds mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You guys, as as always, you measure everything in completely different ways and, you know, pounds to the hogs Six, rum or whatever you guys use. Baby. America! <laughs> yeah, well, we hate the English too, don't worry. So, so, All right. Um, Solidarity. <laughs> Oh man! Well, it's good to good to hear from you, uh, Peter. Thanks so much for uh, calling in today. <laughs> you too, guys. Stay safe. All right, you. there you go. That's Peter oh, uh, live from Australia. Australia. Yeah, he's Nobody a Razorback fan that. in Australia. Yeah, but then there you go. He's gonna be up here in December. Oh, we got to get him in. Oh yeah, yeah. I've, I've already booked that. He's picked some bowl games or something. Yeah, we'll I don't do, know. We'll do that. You still in on bowl games? Or are you out on those too? Don't Google Huntsman Spider. Okay, I won't do that. Oh, oh. Don't worry. See, when people tell me not to look at something, I won't look at it. Okay. I, I'm good with that. That's good. I'm fine. All right. We got some uh, business to tend to here in a minute. And uh, don't forget baseball coming up at 630 tonight with Arkansas and the Texas Tech.